نکلے ہوئے ہیں ابھی تک yeah. ایک مسلمان عیسائی نہیں ہوا It's not like that I don't want the sheikhs to call you. I want them to call you. I know, I know. To, to strengthen my faith. I want them to call you, to bust you. But it's what's happening But, is the opposite. I don't, I don't understand why none of them call you. It was not even difficult for me to call you. I used to watch uh, Sheikh Osman Farouk. Yeah, <laughs> potato, <But>, potato Farouk. <laughs> But... I stopped watching him because he's a liar. I stopped watching him because he's a liar. I stopped watching him because he's a liar. And he just lies. And he just lies. And he just lies. Exactly. He's a potato. So now, so uh, so, uh, so you came through him to me or you know, me, know about me from before? No, um, I think uh, on Twitter or something, because I follow his Twitter, he he called somebody about Christian princes or something, Christian princes, so mm-hmm, I just mm-hmm, searched up mm-hmm. Christian. Yeah. I searched that up on YouTube and I found you and yeah. So so you see, even he tried to insult me. He's a, he's a bully, you know? they are a bully, they cannot refute me. And all of them, they want to sh- debate me face to face, but nobody can debate me in Skype, no problem, you know, because they are yeah. scared, they knew they are liars. Yeah, honestly, like, Uthman, like, he's not a really good scholar. If I, Uthman, I, I, he, I, Uthman, he's a liar. He, he lies about just to make himself, uh, to make Islam look good. But he, he fabricates things. He, he fabricates things. He, he fabricates things. That's why I stopped watching Uthman. That's why I stopped watching Uthman. But we are happy that Ahmad, he, he, you know, he left Islam. He called me to get me busted. <laughs> And he ended leaving Islam. My bad. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No 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 no. Come on. My bad. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No 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 problem. No 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 no. Come on. My bad. Snake, are you okay? Snake. Snake. All right. Peace of Christ, all of you. I hope you guys doing great. And today we have a new topic and we have a new comedy. You know, the Muhammadan, as usual, uh, because they are suffering from the embarrassment of their funny, silly prophet. So they are number one buyers for duct tape made in China. And Muhammad's face is full of duct tape over his eyes, over his mouth, over his nose, over his belly bum, even over his anus. And by the way, before we start, uh, some of you, they say that I am rude and I insult. My friend, if you are not happy with the way I talk, why you are here? Just leave. Nobody is forcing you. So if you don't like the way I talk, please, I beg you, please, 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 in the Arabian way, just leave, okay? You are very sensitive. I am not. (laughs) You know, the one who don't say the truth, he never insult anyone. You know, if you don't, if you say what people like to hear, obviously you are just being a hypocrite. Insult happened when you feel that the person in front of you is disagreeing with you badly. And because he disagree with you and you cannot refute him, you call that an insult. And it's not my problem if I say, if you are a stupid leave and then you felt I'm talking to you, because obviously you are the one who knows himself that he's a stupid. Otherwise, how, why you are pointing your finger at yourself? I just say, if you're a stupid, leave. Then you say, huh, are you talking about me? <laughs> so now, uh, Sheikh Osman, he have somebody in his tent. I don't know, by the way, in his tent, why he don't sell ketchup, because ketchup is very popular for in his tent. Uh, And Sheikh Uthman, he decided to answer a question which is a very embarrassing. A Christian person, I think he's a Christian, I'm not sure. He asked him, why Muhammad he married Aisha at very early age? 
Sheikh Osman, he had the answer. Go ahead, look it up. Come back next okay. Sunday. I'm, I'm here. Be back I gotta, I gotta do some Excellent. Stuff over here at the you want me to give you the video so you can learn, or you just wanna? Are you gonna be here next week? I am, but I'm but you don't wanna you don't wanna watch the video I first? Carry no. Right now. It's a video on YouTube. You don't have to carry it. Uh, 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 Sheikh Uthman, he will answer why Muhammad marry Aisha by saying the guy watch go watch a video. <laughs> I will give you a video, okay? <sighs> and then Sheikh Uthman, he said, well, they say in the hadith that she was young, but the sister of Aisha, she said, according to what she said, she was 15. What? She was 15? Fifth what? 15. I'm really amazed by the numbers Sheikh Uthman is giving to the Muhammadan and non-Muhammadan takbir. The six years old person became 15 years old. Hmm? I don't want to waste your time and listening to the whole video. Let me see at what moment he says 15. Uh, maybe here, let's go back. And yeah, here, <laughs> here, let me ask you, what is the age of marriage according to the Bible? Hmm? Let me ask you, what is the age of marriage according to the Bible? When you go back to the Bible, right? Yeah. Do you have people that were married under the legal age today in the Bible? When we go what? In the Bible. In the Bible. Historic references in the Bible. Yeah, okay. Uh, anyway, 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 you know, show us, show us, uh, Sheikh Uthman, show us, show us the reference, the historical reference in the Bible that people they marry in their age today. <laughs> Potato, this is the Bible. This is the first Corinthian chapter 7, verse number 36. A man he marry a woman, a woman. After, after she, he can, she can get married, he can get married, after she passed the age where she is, obviously have her menstruation. And the verse in the front of you. And you, potato, claiming that Aisha, she was 15 in your video, saying that the sister of Aisha said that, I have a challenge for all of the Muslims, Show me where the sister of Aisha, she said that. Scam, my friend. Have an end. People will, will, will challenge you. Go and watch the video. In the video, you are not showing her sister saying anything. You are showing that I'm going to do calculation to see if those numbers match. And isn't it you who said that we go by Sahih Hadith? So suddenly you, you, you fought at the Sahih Hadith and Sahih al-Bukhari is not Sahih. And then he starts talking about India, about potato, about tomato, about, except the question, what was the age of Aisha when she get married? I'm trying to find in his video uh, where he said the word 15. Hold on, let me try to find it. Uh, yeah, and then he said, uh, uh, he, he, he speak about the age of Mary. When Mary, she got married, he said, according to the Catholic Exopolibidia, <laughs> she was what? Okay. When you say he married a six-year-old girl, yeah. just because a Muslim told you that doesn't mean it's right. Let me explain that. Because I'm a Muslim told you that doesn't mean it's right. Muslims, did you hear it? Just because of a Muslim, he said that to you, it doesn't mean it is right. But who is the Muslim who said that? The wife herself. <laughs> So this idiot, 
is saying that Aisha, she is a liar, and she is a fabricator, and she is not a trustworthy for the Muslim Sunni in Afghanistan. In other way, he is insulting her, saying that she is not saying the truth. Because the first Muslim who mentioned that, it was Aisha. So if a Muslim, he says that to you, that Aisha, she was six years old when she married, she got married, doesn't mean he is saying the truth. And this is Aisha. She is the one is talking. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. And this is an nasai And this is an nasai And this is an uh, Ibn Dawood. Abi Dawood. And this is uh, a Sahih Muslim. And this is, I mean, all of those references, all of them, obviously, look how many times repeated the Hadith. All are authentic. So the one who said that to you, if a Muslim he said that to you, that Aisha she got married at the age of six, don't listen to that person. He is a liar. Sheikh, Sheikh Uthman said, Sheikh Uthman is insulting Aisha, spitting in her face, and he is accusing her to be a fabricator. All of this, why? Because he don't like the age of the marriage of Aisha. And if he is in Afghanistan, he will say, so what? But now he is in San Diego. <laughs> so how he can convince people that his prophet is not a pervert and he is not a pedophile? So it doesn't mean it's right. Let me explain that to you. Because many Christians tell me things that you wouldn't agree with. Like Christians tell me that Mary wasn't holy and you can't pray to her, but you as a Catholic do. First of all, no Christian says and no Catholic do pray to Mary and you are a stupid liar. Catholic and Christian, Protestant, Orthodox, they don't pray to Mary. They ask Mary, the Catholic, they ask Mary to pray for them and we can pray for you their prayer, which is saying, we are, they are praying to the Lord, asking Mary to join them in the prayer, pray for us, we are the sinners. So you are a liar, continue. So I'm not going to hold their opinion as fact. No, we can hold their opinion as fact, no problem, because none of the Christians pray to Mary. None. When you talk about a fact, you have to look at historic documentation. Those Muslims didn't study. I have a master's in hadith. Okay. So I he have a master in hadith. This is new. Sheikh Potato, he have a master in hadith. I don't want to waste your time and listen to this. Let us see where he said that she was 15. She was 15. Oh. Where, where, where he said. Yeah, and here he said, what about the age of Mary when she got married to Joseph? Joseph and his marriage, how old his bride was, have you studied that? No, I don't know. Okay, why don't you look at that before you come and talk about the Prophet Muhammad first. Hey, look, uh, let us look at that, you stupid idiot. Isn't the stupid Quran say that Mary, she delivered a child and she was not married? So if Joseph, he married her, which means he is her husband sleeping in her bed, that after she have a child, that means she is a woman because a child cannot deliver a, ch a, you know, a child. So this is your stupid Quran. Confirming what is written in the Bible. Chapter 19, even the chapter have the name of Maryam. How can I have a son when no man has touched me? Do you see it? So it's a very stupid, silly argument of a silly catch-up boy who he claimed that he have intellect and intelligence, but this is the problem. When those Muhammadan, they speak to someone who is a Christian, supposedly, they are not educated. They don't even know how to answer anything, even about the Bible. This is why the Muslims, they can flourish between the fool. But their foolishness will be a joke between the educated.
So how you use Mary as an example of age marriage, when the Quran confirmed that Mary, she was a woman, because she gave a child. And you see here, Mary, she did not say how I can have a child and I'm, I'm a child. <laughs> If she is a child, she would say, how in the world I'm going to have a child? I'm just at six years old. <laughs> but she said, and this is an answer of a mature woman, how I'm going to have a child. And no man has touched me. This is not an answer of a child, son of Muta. This is an answer of a mature, intelligent person. This is not a child answering. If I ask a child and I say to the child, you want to have a baby? What the child will say? She will hold her Barbie. She say, yes, I like to have a baby. But you see here, Mary, she have a mature conversation. Are you against your Quran to catch a boy? Are you Muslims against the Quran? You will see how, and as you see here, how those people are immature. You, you yourself, you are immature. Not only Aisha is immature. Because the excuse of Mary cannot be used. And Mary, she gave birth before her marriage. So whatever her age was, already she is a woman. Stupidity is amazing. Now, I want one of you to watch this video, just one of the admins, and tell me which minute he said the word 15. I, I hope I did not change the, the video. Uh, 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 tell me which, which, uh, which minute he says the word 15, so we can play it because we don't want to play the whole video, you know? And you know this guy, he is, he is uh, case sensitive. He go to YouTube, he flagged the video. Christian Prince is using my video. It doesn't matter, Abdul, the video is all over. People are laughing at you. <laughs> so if one of you can tell me uh, where he said the word 15. His sister, in fact, the sister of Aisha, she said, uh, you know, according to his sister, she was 15. Like, what the heck? She was 15? But... Aisha, she said that she lived with the Prophet uh, for certain years, and uh, uh, you know, uh, and that means Aisha, she lived only with Muhammad three years because Aisha, when Muhammad died, she was 18. Oh boy. Oh. I'm trying to find where he said the word 15. Where he said the word 15. Where he said the word 15. Maybe the admin can help me and we watch the videos. The video is, it should be in the beginning, not at the end, you know. Uh, uh, let's see, where he said 15. Oh, ho hold on, I think I found it. Ah, okay, okay, I found it, I found it. Look what Sheikh Uthman, and look how his hand move when he is lying. Look at this, look, look, brother, look, brother, sister. Who is the one who told us the age of Aisha? It's all right, it's all right, okay, it's all right. Uh, according to the sister of Aisha, uh -huh. look. Sister of Aisha, you're paying attention now, you're kind of, hello. Hello, pay attention, hello, hello, pay attention. Hello, now I'm going to slam you on your face. I have reference now. According to the sister of Aisha, hello, are you there? Hey, Christian, are you there? Hello, pay attention. And if you look at the events, even the sister of Aisha, you're paying attention now, you're kind of, hello, hello. I paid attention to you, I, I, but you're, oh, you weren't listening. So, <laughs> so, it's all right. So the sister of Aisha, her name is Asma bint Abi Bakr, who's older than her. Uh -huh. She explains the, the historic events that went on, and those put her at around 15 years of age. Oof, 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 oof. Oof. If, 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 I am out all the if forever. <laughs> Suddenly, Aisha, she is 15, brother. So Aisha, she is stupid. I mean, look how this Aisha. She says she was six. Her sister, 
She did not say, by the way, you see the coward, he did not dare to say his sister, she said she was 15, no. <laughs> the Muslim, they are trying to calculate the number to fix the problem. You know, I, I, I use the word anus, so if you don't like to hear it, don't go, don't stay here. I use the word anus a lot. This is a word coming from the anus of Sheikh Ketchup. First, you accuse Aisha to be a liar. Secondly, where the sister of Aisha, she come with the number 15, show us the hadith. Show us the hadith. Nowhere. And you will see how the Muslims, they change the answer, the bent in situation. Look at this here. Uh, here, uh, let us see this one. Give me a second. This is Mufti Laith with other uh, sheikh. But this is the guy, he don't have ketchup yet, you know. Thanks to God, they are not using ketchup yet. Uh, he's, he's asking Shabir Ali, uh, listen to the question. If the, pro the proposition that Aisha at this time was a six-year-old child, what is absurd because the i mean she could not fulfill a, a child at the age of six i mean it's she couldn't fulfill any of those categories she in fact if anything she would just be another burden it's like the prophet has young children at home now he's just brought another child and put a child at home who, who who's going to take care of the children while uh, uh, muslims did you hear of uh, mufti Lait, what he said so uh, Sheikh Ketchup, Uthman, he gave a finger to Aisha. She said she is a liar. She is not six. She don't. She's she's stupid. Actually, maybe he is right, by the way, because obviously she is so young. She don't know what she is saying. But Aisha, she said that hadith when she is an old woman, not when she is a kid. <laughs> and she mentioned that even after the death of Muhammad. And this is a very authentic hadith. So how in the world, Sheikh Uthman? You remember the guy when David Wood he spoke to him. And he made a drama about the hadith is Hassan, and this is Darus Salam saying that Hassan, Hassan means good. It is Hassan in Darus Salam, but this is not really accurate, you know. And now Sahih al Bukhari, which is very authentic, Sahih Muslim, all of them they are saying Sahih, 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 No, for Sheikh Kachab. It is not Sahih. And he is the one just in the previous video, he says he accept the Sahih according to Alabani. Eh? Alabani, you see the Alabani here, it says Alabani, Alabani, the yogurt man from Albani, Albania. What the heck with those people? Anything is embarrassing, it is not Sahih. It's not authentic, brother. Now we go back to the ketchup here different ketchup. So this guy is saying to Shabir Ali, how in the world the prophet he marry a child, she is just a child. I mean, he, she will satisfy what desire for him. What What is the purpose? He's going to even have a, a child to take care of. How she can be a wife? Listen, listen carefully. Very embarrassing, very embarrassing. May Allah bless you, Mufti Laith, especially with those uh, headphones made in China. And by the way, the Muslims are be caught in China. They buy nothing from China, except the microphone, the computer, the phone, and the table, and the t-shirt, and the underwear, and the bed sheet, and the bed, and the chair, and you name it. Just all. That's all. But be, they be caught in China, because China is not fair to the Muslims. And even Mimi Hijab, he took off his t-shirt, showing his nipples. May Allah bless his nipples. I mean, I heard that in China, uh, since then, the Chinese, they are so worried about nipples and they ban nipples from the internet. You go to China, you don't see pictures have nipples, even for men, like they cover it. Since Mimi Hijab showed his nipple, because I mean, he, he make the threat. You know, when he take off the t-shirt and he shave his, uh, his uh, chest, why you shave your chest? You know, in the Middle East, if you shave your chest, this is a, this is a shame in case you do not know. But this is not a surprise. Muhammad, he used to use an he used to use sugar to shave all his body. Now let us continue here with Aisha. May Allah bless their nipples. I mean, they have a very strong nipples. I mean, it's a threat to society. A child at the age of six, I mean, it's, she couldn't fulfill it. Did, did Mufti, he just say the child? Mufti, what's wrong with you? Aisha, at the age of six, she was not a child. I'm going to show you proof. Hold on. Give me a second. I mean, this guy, he don't know what he's talking about. 
What are you talking about? Aisha, she is a child at the age of six. Huh? I mean, people are really you. What's wrong with people? Auzubillah. This is a sheikh, a Muslim woman, she asked him a question. Muslim woman, she asked him a question, brother. And she is very nervous. And she asked, uh, why did the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, married Aisha? Um, mm, 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 uh, mm, uh, mm. The question of the sister is a very good question, mashallah. Uh, the question of the sister is, why did the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, why did he marry Aisha at such a young age? And See this guy, he don't deny it. Sheikh Uthman, he deny it. It's the same as masturbation. One, one is holding his penis and one is holding his nose. I mean, this is a nation. All of them, they masturbate. And no, but haram. It's haram. It's, 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 it's allowed. It's haram. It's allowed. It's haram. It's allowed. Masturbation, opinion. All their religion is masturbation. It's, it's depend in the jerking time. They are jerking. This is the jerky religion. So what is the answer now? She was young or she was not? Listen to this guy. Can we use that as an example for us to marry young girls the same age today? Is that right? Yes, yes. So let's answer this question. It's a good question. And look, this guy is an African man. Suddenly, because he is following Muhammad, he have a red beard. Did you notice? Did you notice he have a red beard? I mean, do you see how, how, how silly you are? Why an African man, he changed the color of his beard to red. You want to be blondie? Ah, I'm following the steps of the Prophet. Oh, obviously, this man is mental. Isn't it him? He says that the one who changed the creation of Allah is against Allah and he's following Satan. Isn't it this is the changing of the creation of Allah? Did Allah created you or Muhammad with red beard? So Muhammad, he used to cook onion and he dip his beard in the onion water. Huh? You know what? I want to I wanna be blonde. Actually, I am blonde. This is why I always I say, I'm blonde, black, blonde, African-American from Japan. You know, I'm coming from Indonesia. I'm like they ask me, where are you from, Christian Prince? I say, I'm, I'm black, blonde, African-American from Japan. Blonde. And now people, they are listening to him, by the way, because of that beard, not because of his opinion. He's just following the steps of the prophet. You have that beard? You are a good man. You don't have that beard? Blondie beard. It's not even blondie, it's red. They want to be redhead. And Muhammad forbid them from coloring their beard with the black. Do you know that? Your beard or your hair. Don't color it with the black. They asked the Prophet why we cannot. He said, because the Jews, they do so. <laughs> Okay, continue. Why the prophet he marry a child? Go ahead, brother. And it's an easy question. It's an easy, easy question. <laughs> you have no idea how easy it is. It's so easy. Go ahead, go ahead, Mr. Easy Teasy. Now the why of it, uh -huh. nobody knows except the law. Like, what the heck? I mean, do you see how easy it is? A second ago, he said, this is an easy question. <laughs> and what the answer? Nobody knows why except, Allah. like, what the heck? That is the easiest question ever. Look, 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 look. <laughs> uh, a Muslim saying, the satanic laugh of CP made me worry. My friend, you should be worried if you sit in the lap of Muhammad, not from my love. <laughs> I get lost. <laughs> you are worried about my satanic love? Me? You are not worried about a prophet. He is 54 years old and he is holding his penis to put it <clears throat> in a child. She is six years old. Why the prophet he marry a child? This is a very easy question. What is the answer? Now the why of it, nobody knows except the law. <laughs> I love this. Uh, I mean, you, man, you, you should, should, didn't you teach in universities like science? All the questions are so easy. 
I mean, imagine you go, you go to Islamic school and they ask you a question and then you put the answer. Okay, this is a very easy question. This is a very easy question you say there. Nobody knows save Allah. Who dare to say no? Who dare to say no? They will kill you. At such a young age, and can we use that as an example for us to marry young girls the same age today? Is that right? Is that right, yeah. So let's answer this question. It's a good question, and it's an easy question. Very easy. Now, the why of it, mm. nobody knows except the law. <laughs> because the Prophet Sallallahu <laughs> never married any woman except it came to him from Wahi. Look at this. The Prophet, when he married women, Allah, he tell him to marry this woman. Just take it from there. And that why, you know, if you think about it, it's very logical. At the time of the Prophet, there's no dating website. And Muhammad sitting in Quraysh, and he don't know, like he cannot see because he is very polite. He don't look at women. He look only at their ass. And because he look only at their ass, he cannot, he don't know who is the woman was walking by. If you remember the hadith where Muhammad, he saw a woman. He saw a woman. What he saw? He saw a woman. So what a big deal. He saw, no, no, no. Focus with me. He saw a woman. <laughs> she is coming in an image of the devil. <laughs> so he got horny. Like, what the heck? She have the image of the devil. And he got horny because of that? Wow, this prophet, he got horny if the women look like the devil. How sexy, and you know it. You know what? I always, I thought about the devil that he is so ugly. And now I notice that the more beautiful they are, the more they are like the devil. Look what the prophet said. Jabir reported that Allah Messenger made bees upon him because bees saw a woman. He saw what? What, 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 what? And look at the chapter name. The chapter of recommendation to the one who see a woman and he is attracted to her. He's attracted to who? To her. Who? To her. He, so he go to his wife or a slave women and boom, boom. Look at the chapter title, brother. Very, very good religion. Prophet is a good man. He don't look at women. He don't, he don't attract to women. They are not his wives. He, he attract to women who walk down street only. So there's a woman, she was walking down street, walking down street, la 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 la. La, 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 la. You cannot make your wife walk in the front of the house of the Prophet. Actually, there's a there's a there's a reference in in Al Qurtubi. It says, if the Prophet eyes fall into a woman, and he like her, the husband must divorce her immediately so the Prophet can f her. And I can show you the reference. So look what happened. The woman she was walking by. Muhammad was looking, and looking, and looking, and looking. And looking. If you like to come tomorrow, feel free because I will keep looking, you know, me myself. And looking. And the Prophet, because he's a very decent man, when he see a woman, she is not his, he don't keep looking. But he was looking. And he keep looking until he <coughs> you know what I mean? Until his uh, <coughs> the one down there start saluting the anthem takbir he's like up Zip. for how long the prophet is looking focusing in focusing in what exactly to the point he gets so horny to the point he left his friends and he jumped and his wife which was in the kitchen tanning leather he left his friends his friends are sitting there And he went to his own wife. I mean, I have a friends outside in the front of my door. 
and I leave them and I go inside the house to boom boom my wife because I was looking at what? At a woman. I'm a decent prophet. Muslim, they say to us that Islam teaches us decency. Decency. A Muslim should not look to a woman, she is not his. But you can go and flirt with your own son, wife in her house like the prophet did. Or if a woman, she walk in front of your door, you can stare at her ass. Hey Muslims, is it normal for a man to get so horny so fast just because a woman walking by? I mean, what happened exactly? What he was thinking? He saw a woman. Look, look how the Muslim, they present the story for you. He saw a woman. What the heck? You cannot take Muhammad to the mall. You take Muhammad to the mall, you take, if you take Muhammad to the beach, what will happen? If this is what happened to him because a woman wearing burqa walk by, what will happen to Muhammad if he see women wearing bikini? Or zorkini? Or you take him to the naked beach? He was a decent man. So, brother and sisters, going back to the topic, why the Prophet, he married Aisha in such a young age? The answer, only Allah knows. Uh, what else? There is more to come? What does it mean? What is wahi? What wahi? The Prophet never went around looking at women and select this one or select that one. I said, yo, check this out. Tell her I'd like to marry him or marry her. The Muslims, hey, I mean, look at the heck. <laughs> This stupid idiot, they are asking you why he is marrying a child. You tell them that Allah told him to marry a child? And that because the Prophet is a decent man? Let us go to different Abdul. Here Abdul asks him, may Allah bless him. He is going to explain to you what happened. Non-believers mostly ask this question. Why did your prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, marry Aisha when she was just a child? How do we respond to them? Yeah, First, take, take a slip, man. This is need a big slip. If I am you, I will drink a barrel. <laughs> Okay, let's see after he drunk the liquid, which is camel urine, uh, what the answer would be. I mean, I, I never heard of a prophet, he advised his followers to drink camel urine and he forbid wine. And why Muslims, they don't sell product in the street everywhere instead of Pepsi Cola, camel urine? I mean, why you are following the Kufa? Pepsi Cola, 7-Up. The other day, I talked to one of my cousins in the Middle East. They told me he have an infection. I said, what? He said, he walked seven steps and he jumped. I said, why? He said he drunk seven up. You see what the kuffar did to us, brother? Uh, okay. So what is the reason the prophet he married Aisha? And how you can answer those kuffar? First of all, you do not have to respond to every question that you're asked. Bingo. I mean, how easy? The other sheikh, he says, this is a very easy question. Allah knows best. This guy, he is solving it. You don't have to respond, Mr. James Bond. <laughs> like what, how, how, how we can solve it? So the, the kuffar, they are asking us, why the prophet, he married a child? How we help the Muslim to answer them? Listen, listen carefully, listen, this is GM. This is, the, the high IQ is, is dripping, you know? It's, it's dripping, you know, you hear about somebody is leaking? Like you have your car leaking oil. I mean, uh, uh, this uh, the Abdul, they are leaking wisdom. Okay. First of all, you do not have to respond to every question that you're asked. Exactly, brother. If someone asks you an in, in, inappropriate question. It is appropriate question. It is an appropriate question. It's not the prophet marrying a child is an appropriate act for a man who claimed to be wise from God, a prophet. 
No, 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 the question is appropriate. That's deep. That's deep. So, you know, if the police, they, they, they arrest a man for he is molesting a child, the judge will ask him, why you are molesting this child? This Abdul will answer, this is an appropriate question and I'm not willing to answer. <laughs> Would you a answer him? No. So if someone asks you about a previous sin, did you ever try champagne? Did you? Abdul, how come you are expert with champagne, but you never tried one? That's when you tried it. Ah, now you're protecting yourself from the future. So if somebody asks you, did you ever drink champagne? You will say to him, instead of being honest and say yes, you say, well, yeah, well this is an appropriate uh, question. <laughs> Have you ever gone out with a woman? Yeah. And fornicated? Uh huh. And you say, oh, astaghfirullah, I can't lie. Okay, yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Uh, so he's telling him, you should not say that. You should not tell the truth. You know, you should not. Listen carefully. No, you don't answer such questions. You don't. Now, if the person asking this question is someone who's objective, who's fair, who's just, who's interested in learning about Islam, no problem in answering him. So what is this lecturer all for? Just tell us, man, why Muhammad marry Aisha at the young age? I mean, the man, he won the answer. As long as you are going to answer, give us the answer. Even if the guy is trying to ask question to make fun of Muhammad, at least give him the answer, Just shut him up. So what is the answer? If he is someone who's just trying to tarnish the reputation of Islam, trying to cast doubts in your mind, avoid, avoid him. But, but Abdul, if we don't answer the guy, the Muslim himself, he will have a doubt. The ostrich method will not work. You put your head in the sand and you think nobody can see you and then the wolf, he'll snatch your neck. What kind of advice is advice is? Don't you want to save the guy? So what is the answer? Why the prophet, he married a child? Avoid him and do not pay any attention to him. But seriously, Sheikh. Seriously, Sheikh. Now, now we are going to get into the better and the cheese. Uh, so give, please, time to get some bread. Time to get some bread, okay? Mm. But seriously, Sheikh. Seriously. Okay, what well, was seriously what? Are you going to start now? So you were not serious before? Now you are serious, sir? But seriously, Sheikh. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on. Why did the Prophet, when he was like 53 years of age, uh -huh. marry a child of nine years of age? Liar. She was six, you idiot. What nine? What the heck? She was six? Actually, there's a hadith. Anyone remember the hadith? Let us see how many of you saved the reference. Do you remember the hadith I just showed you a few days ago? That the, the mother of Aisha, she was feeding her cucumber and palm date so she can get a little bit bigger before she delivered her to the house of Muhammad. Who have the hadith? Let us see how many of you are saving reference. Is it true that Aisha, she said, that her mother, she start pushing in her mouth a lot of a cucumber and palm date so she can get bigger, so the Prophet can have her? Who remember the Hadith? What kind of religion this religion is? The mother, she was pushing cucumber and palm date. You know, like when you wanna, you know, uh, the, the Muslims, before the Ramadan, the end of Ramadan, or uh, the, the second uh, occasion, they start feeding their animals a lot so they can get fatter faster, uh, and especially the day before they go take them to sale. So they can weigh them with the food in their belly, you know, they cheat, they cheat. So now Muhammad, he is going to take his, uh, his wife. The delivery is coming. <laughs>
from Amazon. <laughs> so the prophet, you know, peace be upon him, uh, you know, uh, he married a child, and obviously she is so little. And then the mother, she need to send the Aisha. It's time for the Adha, the slaughter day for the sheep, the little child being sent to be slaughtered by the beast Muhammad. My mother, who is talking Aisha, is it is it a Sahih Hadith? It is Sahih Hadith. Oh, Sheikh Kachabi will say this is not Sahih. Isn't it you who accept even Alabani, you coward, a Kachab boy? It's Sahih. Let's look what it says. My mother, who is talking Aisha, intended to make me gain weight. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? Intended to make me gain weight. Huh? Ah. Man. It is about weight, brother. You know, I never thought that a cucumber can make women grow faster. And now, all those ladies who they are in the chat, they will consider seriously not to eat a cucumber no more. <laughs> hey, Abdul, is it true that if somebody eats a cucumber, he grows so fast? So like Aisha, she put a cucumber in her mouth, and then like she she get bigger right away. And how many cucumber? You know, even the name in English is very cucumber. What the heck is that? Let us call it cumber. I like it more cumber. Cumberine, cumberino. Hmm? This is like Italiano. Hey Tony, can you bring me some cumberino? You know, that is even better. You know. And Tony is busy. He says, let me wait, and I'm shooting the guy. Hey, Tony, what do you think about Aisha saying that her mother, she was feeding her cucumberino? Tony, he would say, tell her she never heard of the pezzino and pepperoni. So the mother of Aisha, she is stuffing the throat of Aisha by cucumber and fresh date. Then I gain as much weight as she desired. Look at the poor kid, what she is doing us. Sit down here, Aisha. I want you to eat all those cucumber today, okay? And palm, all those palm date. Mom, this is too much. And since when you feed me so good, I'm so skinny. Eat, uh, Aisha, it will be, we have to ship you soon, you know? <laughs> oh, boy. Da -da 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 -da. The prophet is so good, man. Now, how many of you save those reference, the one I showed in the screen? Because later, you will say to you, me, Christian Brands, where is this reference? I'm going to ignore you. In Don't send me emails in Patreon. I receive emails from Patreon, even about the same video. I just posted the reference and they email me. Christian Brands, can you give me the reference for you, the one you said in the video? You just eat it. I just post it in the video. Go there, click in the link. And in case you do not know how to find reference, you just type in Prophet Google Peace upon him. Uh, use like this, here we go. Uh, uh, use here. Uh, she desired to benefit me till uh, she gave me a cucumber with a fresh day to eat. Type that in Google, you will find the hate right away. Just type a sentence as it is. By the way, at the end of our episode, we will give all the little ones here cucumber so you can be mature and you become older and then you can watch adult movies. <laughs> I never knows that cucumber is so powerful like this. Unbelievable. Me. Italian cucumber is called Sertorillo. Like, you know what? I will I, I will stay with the cucumber for now because that will take me a, a year to learn how to say it. So look with me, brother. 
But why the Prophet he married Aisha? Why? Why did the Prophet when he was like 53 years of age, marry a child of nine years of age? This is unheard of. Wait. Wait. And don't fall into Satan's trap. Don't. Gather information. Uh -huh. Do your homework. Make a research yeah. to understand the circumstances. Yeah, at that time, there was a lot of a cucumber, not like now. So all what you need to do, if you have a, a, a daughter, she is two days old, give her a cucumber for the coming 60 days, she will become 18. You need to research. Just research. Wait. Don't come to a conclusion so fast. Let us say you have a child, you know, your wife, she gave birth yesterday, huh? And you want your daughter to get married the next month. So what do you do? You give her a cucumber. She chew it. Non-stop. In less than 60 days, your daughter, she will be six foot tall, like a cucumber. And she will be green. <laughs> Unbelievable. True story. So what? Search and study? What? To understand the circumstances. Hmm. Then you can answer this, inshallah, inshallah. with clarity and transparency. Tra I, love, all, I love his transparency. I love transparency, especially when the Prophet, he says that your women in the heaven, they will wear 70 dress and they are transparent. And not only their dress is transparent, brother, even you will see the marrow of their bones. What the heck? We will see the marrow of their bones. Thank God I don't have a dog here. What the heck? We will see the marrow of their bones, brother. Look at this. The Prophet, he says, I swear by Allah. You see, the Prophet, he don't lie when he swear, by the way. He lie all the time, but when he swear, he stand the truth. Like, it's time to be serious now. Okay? He says, you will have two wives from the Huris who will be so beautiful, so pure, and so transparent. Like, do you see how the word hit my brain when he said, I lack transparency? They will be so transparent that the marrow of their bones, of their legs, will be seen through the bones and the flesh. Who can beat that? I mean, it's time to be transparent. And those who say to you that the prophet is not a prophet, well, how you explain to me such a beautiful image that now you are in heaven and uh, I don't know, I'm, you see, I'm, it's embarrassing. I, don't, I should not show you this. Uh, uh, this is an X-ray I took to one of my wives, you know, when she was doing, going to the mall. Hold on. Brother. Don't we understand how beautiful that will be? And in case you do not know, now in the heaven of Allah, your wife, she cannot hide in her purse anything. The credit card, you see it. The hamburger from your refrigerator, you see it. Anything she eat, you even see it in her stomach. All this is over. Women, you are history. We will see everything you are hiding. Like, you know, in the Middle East, women, they hide money in their bra. <laughs> Good luck with that. We will see everything, everything in details, even your poo-poo. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Women, they will be transparent. Why? Is that like a how to make them beautiful? Does that make women really beautiful if they are transparent? I mean, you must not get excited to see bones. Bony, bony? The bony, uh, you guys are bony man, like you know. Now I know why they call it the bony M. <laughs>
Yeah, when I was like a, you know, a, a, a very young, I used to listen to uh, a, an American team. It's called Bonnie M. Bonnie M. You know, Dari Cool, Abdul. You know, yeah. Look at this. Actually, if I don't know, because some of you until now are not able to observe the beauty. I don't blame you because you are a kuffar. You are blind. You cannot see. Look at this. Oh, look at that. That's deep. That's alone. I don't want to. I don't want to test your patient and how much. I hope none of you will get excited now, men, especially men. What the heck is that? So imagine now you are in heaven. And your wife is a transparent. And this is Aisha. She is six years old. And she is trying to tempt you. Look at this. What, what, what are you doing? I mean, come on. At least say there are single men here. God forgive me, please, because I'm getting tempted now. What the heck is that? This is too much. By the way, what happened to the breast? They are gone. Look like the x-ray. So Prophet Muhammad... You promise us in the Quran, women, they have big breasts, but now we cannot see them no more. They are transparent. <laughs> so, uh, Prophet Muhammad, are you sure we will see the marrow of their bones? I mean, aren't you exaggerating? Look, look here. This woman, she put her hand in front of her private part. Look how decent she is. And now I can see the, 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 the breast. Look at the breast. How, how me? This is it. Look at this position. Oh boy, this position alone is something. So the prophet, he promised us, women who they are transparent, we can see their bones. And now you, you shake, you are telling us we should be transparent, you know? Mm. I like transparent. Transparent, trans-grandfather, transgender, you know, what about transgender? <laughs> so let us, let us be serious now, come on. It's time to be serious. Where is the where is the video of this guy? Where is the video? Hold on, let us go back. Hey, people, who they are here? Be honest with me. Isn't it, this is the best comedy you can see ever in any TV station? It is a comedy of education, which is the best about it. You die laughing, and soon your wives will send me flowers, saying to me, "Thank you." Because of you, I get rid of my husband. He died on the table laughing at what you were saying. And now I can exchange him. Thanks to Allah. So, Sheikh, continue, please. Let us be serious now. Okay. Make a research uh -huh. to understand the circumstances. Then you can answer this, inshallah, with clarity and transparency. Mm. First of all, the Prophet was 53 years of age when he married Aisha. Uh -huh. Was he married before that? If, 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 if. And what this have to do with answer why he married a child? Was, was he married before that? Yeah. And? Yes. Yes. He was married when he was 25 mm -hmm. years of age. Mm -hmm. For a quarter of a century, mm -hmm. he married a woman who was 15 years older than him. Mm -hmm. So he married a woman of 40 when mm -hmm. he was 25. Okay. And remained married to her until she died when she was 65 years of age. Mm -hmm. This isn't the track record of a womanizer. This is not the track record, but you failed to tell us why he married an older woman, because she is rich. And if he decided to get rid of her, he would lose all the money. He would be homeless, potato. <laughs> and this is your prophet. He was asking a Muslim man, why you marry a widow? Why you don't marry a little child so you can enjoy her saliva? Or you play with her, or you sport with her. 
So obviously your prophet, he don't like to marry widows. If this is the advice of Muhammad for a Muslim man, and this is after the death of Khadija, now we understand why Muhammad married Khadija. Obviously he don't like widows. He don't like even women. He like children. He is a pedophile. So the Muslim man here, his name is Jabir. He married and Muhammad, he asked him, the story is long, depending on where the story is written. So the guy was in a rush to go home. So Muhammad, he says to him, why you are in a rush? Uh, he said, well, I am married now. I get married. I want to see my wife. He said, oh, you are married now. Did you marry a widow or a previously married woman or a child? A Muslim, he can say to you, well, where it says the word child, he is lying to you. Where it says that? It's in the front of you. He said here, my brother, he died. And he left nine or seven daughters behind him. Therefore, I did not approve the idea that I should bring a girl to like them. They are orphans. The word orphan doesn't go for someone she is mature. The word orphan goes for someone she is a kid. If you are uh, 18 years old, you don't say I'm an orphan. You are not orphan no more. You can work. You can make living. Orphan is someone is dependent on somebody else. He cannot make living. He's a child. So Muhammad is asking the guy to go and get a child, a girl in their age. The man he said, "Well, I prefer to marry a woman, and I did not approve marrying someone in their age." A girl like them. And this is again Sahih. So now we understand that Muhammad he don't like women who they are previously married or widows. And this is the case of Khadija. Khadija, she have two husbands before Muhammad. She killed them. And she took their money. She's a black widow. And then when Muhammad married Khadija, Khadija and Muhammad, they made a feast to the father because the father of Muhammad, sorry, the father of Khadija did not accept Muhammad for he is coming from a very savage, low-class family. So what Khadija and Muhammad, they did, they made the father of Khadija drunk. And let me show you the reference. <clears throat> so you don't say we're making things up. Let us see. Let us read together and laugh at the ethical prophet who go after the children's and advise his men to go and have sex with the children's and not to marry women and read together. And now what the Muslim they will say? For sure they will say this is daif, brother. This is daif, brother. Islam is daif, we have to say so. Okay. <clears throat> Tariq al-Islam, al-Imam al-Dhahabi, volume number one, page number 65. Qala Ahmad, fi musnadihi. Imam Ahmad, he said in his book, the story of Khadija, how her father used to refuse to marry her, which means to Muhammad. And then she made food and drink 
and she invited her father and other groups of Quraysh, like some visitors. They invited people. Then they ate in her house, and they drank in their house until they become so drunk. And then she said to her father, Muhammad is asking to marry me. Marry me to him. The guy is a drunk. He don't know what he's saying. We don't know what he said. Then she took off her his clothes. And I'm sure Muhammad was helping her because I don't think, unless she is really strong woman, she took off the clothes of her father and she dressed him with a new clothing which people dress when they have an occasion, which is normal, you know, even now. You know, when you go to a wedding, you don't wear the same clothes you go to do shopping in Walmart. So to make, to fool him, to make him believe that last night we have a wedding party, this filthy woman, she made Muhammad, she made her father, sorry. Let's go, use Google Translation, hold on, give me Google Translation. All right. She made her father believe that he married her Muhammad yesterday and yesterday last night it was the wedding party this is why they are drinking and when the father he woke up he was he said to herself why am he said to her why am I wearing this clothes she said to him oh you forgot yesterday yesterday you drunk and yesterday you married me to Muhammad. And then he said, I will never marry you to the orphan of Abu Talib. The guy is an orphan. His family are very poor. And they have nothing. And this is not, doesn't make him bad, by the way. Being an orphan, absolutely not. Or being poor. Actually, God said to bless the poor, right? But obviously this man, he have no ethic. Even his first marriage is based on a fraud and based on drinking alcohol. Then he, the father, he said, I will not marry you to an orphan. Not in my life. The translation is funny here. Not in my life, which means not as I am alive. I will never allow that to happen. She said, aren't you ashamed? You want people to laugh at you, that you are a fool? Do you want me to tell the people of Quraysh that you were drunk? So even Khadija, she was filthy, same as Muhammad, and she is black marrying her father. And this is story mentioned in many places. We can go to Musnad Ahmad. Or Musnad Abdullah ibn Abbas. And let me pause the reference for you. Which is the same. Musnad al Imam Ahmad, very number one, page number three, twelve. Hadith number two, four, two, eight, four, six. And let me post the link for you so you guys can save it in your reference. So this is Muhammad. He's a filthy man. For the sake of marrying a woman, her family is not approving him. He used alcohol, which Muslim they claim that Islam is against alcohol. How many times we heard Muslims saying alcohol from shaitan, even the Quran says so. But you will notice, I have a video actually, it's called how alcohol helped Muhammad to become a prophet. Because if he did not marry Khadija, he would not have the money to start. He would not have the respect of people to listen to him. He was nobody from a bad, savage family. The Muslims, they claim that Muhammad came from a great family, an honorable family. As you see, I mean, the woman, she is married to two husbands before, and she have a truck full of kids from previous marriage, and still the father don't want to marry Muhammad to this man, to this woman. So why, if Muhammad is from a good family, why they are refusing? You know what I mean? If Muhammad came in from a noble family, why the father of Khadija? Khadija is a woman. She is already, uh, she married two men before. She's way older than Muhammad. And she have a truck full of kids. Who is going to marry this woman? Nobody. So why Muhammad he married her? Because she is very rich. She was the richest woman in Quraysh. And the Muslims agree that even Muhammad was working for her. And how they get married? By alcohol. 
thanks to champagne and whiskey. If not the whiskey, Muhammad will not be a prophet today. Hmm? Do we have any Muslim have any disagreement with what we showed you? As you see, everything we say, we show on the screen. By the way, one of the Muhammadan, uh, he, is, he she said, uh, that in California, the age, there is no age of Muslim marriage in California. In order to justify what Muhammad did. No age of marriage. The fact they are liars, always check what they say. The age of marriage in California is 18. Otherwise, you will be charged with rape. If you do so, if you go with a girl, she is 17 and a half. 17, eight, 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 she, a, a day less than the age of 18, completing 18, you are going to charge of a case of rape uh, uh, or sex with minor, and that punishment can go up to 15 to 20 years in jail. They lie when they make their videos. In California, it's uh, there's no age, brother. You are a liar, a fraud, like your prophet. So, as you see, the Mohammedan, they are trying their best to duct tape their prophet. But the duct tape is not working because of us. And people are really disgusted of such a garbage cult. Garbage in, garbage out. So this man here, he is trying to say to you, well, Muhammad, if he is after the children's, why he marry uh, Khadija? She was way older and he stayed with her all this time. You will notice right away when Khadija, she died, Muhammad start jumping from a woman to a woman to a woman to the point he made verses in the Quran saying any woman she can offer herself to the prophet to effort. This is in the top of his wives. Any woman, she can offer herself to the Prophet to be effed by the Prophet. Offered herself. You see, the Prophet, he don't, he's not a womanizer. We just showed you the Hadith. The Prophet, a woman walking by, he went to his wife and he jumped on her. What kind of a man he is? And why he was looking? To the point he got so horny. And here you see, he made verses saying, all of those women, they are lawful for you to have them. In the top of that, this is an exclusively for you, Muhammad. Ex ex exclusive. All of us, we like to go on vacation, exclusive. All is inclusive. Right? So imagine you go on vacation, and the hotel, this says, in the brochure, and any believe in women, she offer herself to you in the hotel room. All inclusive. <laughs> this is only for you, Prophet. Only for you. You see, what does this have to do with God? Why God? Why God? And look, they lie here. They say to the Prophet, he have desired to marry her. Where is the word married? It says to if her. The word yankah. Yes, thank. It's not even yankah. Yes, thank you. It's a continual verb. ING if in her. And why this is a privilege only for the Prophet? All those women, privilege for the Prophet. Any women she want to offer herself. And then women who don't look good and old, with my respect to all people, they start offering themselves to Muhammad. Muhammad, he said to himself, What I did. Look at those women. I want the young one like Aisha. Not those. So he made a verse right away after it. He says, Allah told me that you may differ any of you them you wish, and you may receive any of them as you wish. This is from this is religion. And they are trying to say to us that Muhammad is not a womanizer. In fact, what the word womanizer mean? I mean, this guy is a is a is a filthy beast. Already you have 13 women in the, in the bedrooms, and you have tons of slaves, sex slaves. In the top of that, even you want to sleep with married women, 
Al-Qurtubi says, any believing women, the Prophet, his, his eyes fall into her, her husband must divorce her immediately. Immediately. My friend, what he does, the one is a coward, is the one who asked Ali to sleep in his bed so he can run from Quraysh. Do you want me to show you the story? Have you ever heard of a hero? He asked a child to sleep in his bed. So supposedly his enemy will go inside the room and kill the child so he can run away? Who is the coward? This is not a behavior of a person. He have little dignity. A hero, he saved children. He don't ask them to die for his sake. This is your prophet stories, according to you. So who is the coward? Hmm? All phone calls are fake? Okay. I just received a phone call. Hold on. Teredin, teredin. Teredin, teredin. Teredin, teredin. Listen, Prince. Let me introduce myself for you. Hey, Zach and Naik, I know your voice, man. You do not need to introduce yourself. First of all, I am not the real Zach and Naik. And this is a fake call. Oh, so why you are calling me? It's a fake call. I want to prove to everybody that Zach and Naik is not Zach and Naik. What the heck? So you are calling me to tell me that this is, you are not Zach and Naik? Ruth and Prince. I am Zach and Naik. Okay. And I want to tell everybody that I'm not Zach and Naik. Uh, <clears throat> Zach as a Cora. Listen, I'm really confused now. So is this is a real call or this is a fake call? Ruth and Prince. All your call is fabricated. Okay, what about your call? It's fabricated. So you are not Zach and Naik? Christian Prince, I just told you I'm Zach and Naik. What, what, what the heck is that? So are you Zach and Naik or not? Christian Prince, first of all, I want to show you that you're lying. The Prophet, when he has sex with Aisha, Aisha, she was big and so huge. And the reason for that, wait, what is the reason? She used to eat a cucumber. What the heck? If you open, Sunnah Nabi Naboot, Hadith number 2903, you will see that the mother of her, may Allah bless her Aisha, she was feeding her with the cucumber until she gained weight. And then she shifted by Amazon to Prophet Muhammad. Your Prophet, he have a prime, Amazon? The Prophet, he have a prime, he have an extra prime, he have all the prime in the world. Because he's the prime Prophet. Ah, because he's a prime Prophet. And do you think she ate a prime cucumber? <laughs> Oh boy, prime cucumber. You will believe it or not, those Abdul in the comment section, they, they, they write down, brother, sisters, this is not the true Zach and Ike. I mean, you stupid, you stupid low IQ. Don't you know, really, I'm, I'm, I'm the main making the voice. I mean, those people are so confused to the point, man, is that Zach and I? No, man. He sound like Zach and I. They are... They accuse me that I am lying and this is not the truth. Can you believe it? Brother and sister, I swear by Allah, this is not the truth, Zachar Naik. He sounds like Zachar Naik, but this is not Zachar Naik. <laughs> genius religion and genius followers. And the IQ is dripping like butter and cheese. Say cheese. Okay. Now we go back here. Um, let us go to different. Uh, let us go back to, to to this guy, the poor the poor Mufti Laith, is trying to save the problem with the Sheikh uh, Shabir uh, Ali. The Shabir Ali is a thinker, by the way. He think a lot, a lot to the point he closes his eyes when he's thinking, and the second he opened his mouth, he said, "Okay, uh, uh, uh -huh. any of those categories." She, in fact, if anything, she would just be another burden. It's like the Prophet has young children at home. Now he's just brought another child and put a child at home. Who, who who's going to take care of the children whilst he's trying to earn a living and trying to do all of these things? This hadith really, you know, brought the, the the message home for me that wait a minute, this doesn't. Um, whereas it makes sense having a partner, somebody who could actually help you in these categories of life. I mean, yeah. uh, there's a reasonable observation here that uh, when the Prophet ﷺ was getting married, uh, it, it, it does not make sense that he would be marrying uh, a girl who 
uh, would have been younger than his, his daughters at the time. And of course, his daughters were young enough to need uh, a motherly care. Um, and uh, Sauda would have uh, fulfilled that by virtue of her age uh, to marry Aisha, uh, who would have been so young as described in the hadith, um, would not seem to serve uh, any reasonable purpose at that time. Yeah, and the fact that... See, guys, do you agree? It doesn't serve any purpose uh, Purpose at that time. I, I agree, it doesn't serve any purpose. So two poor Muslims, they are crying. Why in the world the Prophet, he married this child? And they are trying to fix it. And her mother, she was giving her a lot of a cucumber to make her bigger and fat. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Anyone? I like uh, Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali is the only one who say he have different ignition. Like Zakir Naik, he's a brother the You know, this is his ignition. Shabir Ali, he have different ignition. But he cannot even talk before saying those. You know, like he go mute and then he talk again and then he want to start. So each one one on one of them he have his own ignition. And all, all the keys is, is, is with the Christian prince. Now, who is a Muslim? Would like to call me. I can open sky for you. And tell me why your prophet Mary Aisha at the age of uh, 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 six years old. And uh, uh, as you see, that the, the, this the, the Muslim is is really upset because she don't serve any uh, 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 age or or purpose. I mean, what is the purpose? Home. It could have helped him in the sense of the da'wah in in preaching and going forth and and serving like a, being a backbone to the Prophet the way Khadija was radiallahu anha. Now. It could have helped him with with intimacy and, and just being having somebody to be intimate with and being close with. Uh, now, if the pro the proposition that Aisha at this time was a six year old child what, is absurd because the I mean she could not fulfill a, a child at the age of six. I mean, it's... What are you talking about? Aisha, she have a huge boobs at that age, my friend. What are you talking about? Let me prove it to you. Do you know even that there is a guy, he asked for the hand of Aisha before Muhammad? Brother? Yes, she was engaged. She was dating when she was four. Aisha, she was very horny in very early age. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Muhammad. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Muhammad. This is the track record of a decent man. Right, a decent man. In the prime of his youth, hmm. being satisfied and content with an older woman for 25 years, definitely this man is a decent person. Ah. Okay, Sheikh, but again, why did he marry this Okay, Sheikh, but again, we go back to zero. You see how this guy is, 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 is I mean, I already dumb. Again, so, but again. Why why the, the, the prophet, he, he marry a child? Uh, again. Well, why? Huh? Why? Child. After she died, that is Khadija, mm. may Allah be pleased with her, mm. he married a woman his age, mm. Saud bin Zam'a. Mm. She was also 50 plus years of age mm. because she's a, she was a widowed and she was alone and he wanted to counsel her by marrying her. Counsel her by marrying her. Figures who like to counsel with me. <laughs> Look at the prophet. He canceled, you know, this is his consultation. He married the women to counsel with her. The story of Saud bin Tudama, you idiot. Her husband was killed because of Muhammad. And Muhammad, I believe, he sent the man to die so he can have the wife, as usual. And then Saud bin Tudama, when Muhammad get older, and she got older, 
Muhammad he stopped having sex with her. And let us see the hadith. Even there's a verse in the Quran about it. And then he forced her. He, he threatened, I'm going to divorce you. So Aisha, she convinced, convinced Muhammad that let us switch the day. The day you used to give to Sauda to F her, I will have it. And this was an agreement between Aisha and Sauda. So Sauda, she will not be homeless. So look at this evil man. This woman, she served him for many years. And now because she become older, and the hadith says she became heavier, Muhammad, he refused to sleep with her no more. He refused even to come to her house. And they say to you that the Prophet was fair with his wives. Is it fair not to sleep with the women? Is it fair to go sleep with the young Aisha and the women who serve you for many years? You don't even go to her house? You don't even talk to her? You even threat to divorce her? And this is here, tons of stories about her. And actually, Saudi Abidama have a history. Because of her ass, the chapter of the hijab came down. It was made by Umar, as you see the story here in front of us. See what Muhammad did to his wives? She got older, he dumped her. And now he's having fun with the teenager or the little kid. At that time, uh, uh, Aisha, she is a teenager. What kind of a prophet this prophet is? Read carefully here this hadith. And this is Sahih. Muslims, Muslims, you know, all what you say, you are trying to divert us from our topic. We laugh at you and you have nothing to say. If you are a man, call me in Skype. We will laugh at you and you can post for me Ezekiel from now until next year. And I will get you the same size you are looking for. Look at this. Never I did I find any women more loving to me than Sauda. Who's saying Aisha? So Sauda is a good woman. Okay. Is she loving? Let us see what's happening. I wish I could be exactly like her, who was passionate. As she become old, she had mere she had she had made over her day, which she had to spend with Allah Messenger. Aisha, she said, I have made over my day with you to Aisha. So Allah Messenger alluded two days to Aisha. But look. At the first translation we see in the front of us in English and look at the translation in Arabic or the word in Arabic in Arabic actually here it says as she become old she become what old is it really this is was his idea to give her day to Aisha or she been forced to she was being forced to because she heard the news that Muhammad is going to divorce her and throw her like a goat in the street. Let us show you some reference. As you know, we don't like to say things. Just to show you how they lie, duct tape cult, duct tape cult. Uh, <clears throat> Let us see. Actually, some hadith says that even he divorced her. 
he throw her out already. Let's see if we can find the reference in English. If not, if not, we will show the, English, the Arabic one. <clears throat> okay, look like this one is not here. Let us see this one. Um, I have the reference in front of me actually, but I wanna uh, use an, uh, a website can be used for as a reference for you, not just uh, a quotation. Let us see this one here. Let's see if we can find this one in English first. You see, like, you know, our work, my work, it's, it's really, it's not easy uh, because I try to help you with the English reference because you don't speak Arabic. Uh, here we go. Read with me. This is the, the I just found you something in English. That will help. <clears throat> in the authority of his father, etc., that Aisha said, uh, Oh, my nephew, the Messenger of Allah did not prefer one of us to the other in respect in, in respect of the, his division of the time of his staying with us. It was very rare that he did not visit us any day, i.e., visited all, all of us every day. Now, this is Aisha saying that. We can show you reference that the story is different. Even Muhammad, he stopped going to some certain women, like Sauda. Actually, hear the story in front of us, it says. He would come near each of his wives without having intercourse with her until he reached the one who had her day and passed his night with her. When Sauda, daughter of Zama, become old, and feared that the Messenger of Allah would divorce her. She said, see, she is not giving her day because she don't want to be his wife no more. She feared the divorce, and divorce means she will be homeless. This woman is very old now. She needs food, she needs support. So if she, has, she got divorced, she will lose her slaves, the one he gave her. To serve her, she will lose her, lose her house, she will lose everything. So she said to the Messenger of Allah, Give it, I give to Aisha the day you visit me. The Messenger of Allah accepted that. And this is the verse in the Quran, chapter 4, verse 128. The verse saying that if a wife fear currently, currently, or cruelly, sorry, or distortion, and her husband, they can come to an agreement, and this was the agreement. So imagine even the God of Islam, he made a verse about it. Different hadith says that the Prophet of Allah, he told Sauda, I'm going to divorce you. Because you need to ask yourself why she feared this divorce. How, how she learned that she, he might divorce her. In fact, he said to her, get ready, I'm going to get rid of you. Uh, so she said to him, don't divorce me. Let me stay. And this is the Imam al-Baghawi, and he is the master of all those dummies, like Ibn Kathir, etc. Tafsir al-Nisa, 
verse number 128. And this is for those who speak Arabic. They knew how to read Arabic. You can read. So here it says, uh, Let us see where is it says that he decided to divorce her. Oh, here we go. So at the end here she said in the last three lines that uh, when she become an old woman and the prophet he wanted to, di to divorce her, she said to him, don't divorce me. Please. Let me stay. And I can give my time to Aisha. She knew that Aisha is his weakness. He liked to F Aisha more than the others because she is the little child. And then Aisha, she convinced him, yeah, because Aisha, she don't like Muhammad, by the way, but because she liked the gifts, all the gifts, they come to the house of Aisha. So when Aisha, she would have two days, that's mean double money. And let us show you the reference. And this here, let us actually first do Google translation. I will post the link for you. As you see, she said to him, please don't divorce me. Don't. He wanted to separate with her, divorce her. To who? To Sauda, to, with Sauda. So she said to him, please don't divorce me. Translation is not very accurate, but eh, it's okay, you know. And why he don't want to be with her no more? Because she is an old woman. Old. She became older. And Muhammad is not interested no more. So, you know, a woman in Islam is like a car. And who is going to drive an old car if he have a new car? She's an old woman. Sauda was an old woman. And the prophet wanted to separate from her. She said to him, please don't divorce me. I will give my day to Sauda. Let me pause the link for you. Give me a second. And this is Tafsir al baghawi And this is the reference here. Tafsir al baghawi chapter of the women verse number 128 and you know mentioning the chapter of the women we can go to mention to you that not only muhammad he can marry children and have sex with them in fact the quran confirmed that all muslim men they can do that this is why they marry children until now everybody in the middle east now for sure some countries now they don't follow sharia law and because it's an embarrassment but if you go to chapter 65 in the quran there's a verse, the chapter of the divorce. And that chapter, verse number four, is speaking about divorcing young girls who they never have their menstruation. They did not have menstruation because of their young age. And now we are divorcing them. So some liars, they say to you that Aisha, she was in the age of menstruation when she got the prophet to marry her. But this is absolutely false. We can go to the hadith that Mishan did reference. That Aisha, first let me post this link for you, please. Uh, hold on. I forgot. This is the link about Tafsir al Baghawi that he divorced, he wanted, he divorced, uh, he wanted to divorce Sauda. And uh, we go uh, here. I just posted the link for you. Uh, Give me a second. Many Muslim uh, lie about Aisha. She reached the age of puberty. There is videos of Mimi Hijab, uh, Ali Dawa, the, tur the turtle voice, all of them. But this is their books confirming that Aisha she never 
reach the age of puberty even many years after the marriage, even when she become over 14. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 6130. I used to play with the dolls. The wife, she is playing with the dolls. The wife, now she is in his house. I mean, do you see, they say to you, she is mature, she is ready for marriage. She have, uh, you know, it's not just the age, you know, brother. The wife, she is playing with the dolls. That is telling us a lot. In the presence of the Prophet. So the husband is watching his wife playing with the dolls. And he is not asking why in the world my wife is doing that. Why? Because she knew she is a child. Even this hadith is saying that the Prophet, he used to carry her in his shoulder. The Prophet, he carried his wife in his shoulder to watch the kids playing. And there's many hadith about little kids coming to play with Aisha. And when they see the Prophet, they hide. And my girlfriend used to play with me. This is her age. When the Messenger of Allah used to enter the dwelling, they used to hide themselves. <laughs> what? What? This is religion? The wife, she have little girlfriends. And all of them, they are playing with the dolls. Now the beast Muhammad, the husband, he entered the house. The little girls, they hide, either because they are shy or they are afraid he will molest them. But the prophet would call them to join to play with me. Guys, is it in front of you? Is this me saying that? Playing, playing, in, with the dolls. And this is many years after his marriage. And then the Muslims, they explain to you, uh, playing with dolls, isn't it? Uh, playing with uh, images is forbidden because doll is an image. They say to you, the reason she was allowed to do that because she was a little girl and she did not reach the age of a puberty yet. Do you see it? And this is the reference in front of you. They love to lie in order to cover the leaking ass of Muhammad. And then they come to us and say, Hey, okay, what is the age of Mary when she got married, brother? Mary, she gave birth to Jesus, you idiot, without a husband. So obviously she is a woman already because a child cannot give a child birth. A child cannot give a birth to a child. She will die. She cannot conceive. And your Quran, you stupid, agree that Mary, she never been touched by a man, chapter 19. This is who is Muhammad. And this is the truth, and the ugly truth is there. And they try to cover it, because obviously they are ashamed of their prophet. This is a great sign, by the way. When you see somebody trying to hide what his belief is about, that means he himself is ashamed of it. Shame is Muhammad, and Muhammad is shame. Anyone have a question? I have a request to the admins. Don't post from now on any link to any channel, even if they are a Christian channel. Because I receive a complaint that you guys posting links for other people, and they are they are saying the opposite. Uh, like, uh, you know, we try not to divide the Christians. So I don't want you to post any website, any link to anyone. It doesn't matter if he's your friend or not. It doesn't matter if I know him or not. Don't post. I don't recommend anyone. 
And if I want to recommend, I will recommend myself. Go to this channel. And I want you to remember one, one thing. When a Muslim, he leave Islam in here. I will not accept anyone to say, become a Catholic brother, or become an Orthodox brother, or become a Protestant brother. I don't want him to become neither a Catholic or a Protestant or Orthodox. I want him to follow Jesus. If you say those things in the chat, I will block you. Not because Catholic is not good, or Protestant not good, or Orthodox, no. But we don't care for those things. Who care? We care that we save the Muslim, and he is saved by the name of Christ. Where he go, this is his business. So don't volunteer like a turtle, silly, stupid you. You know, the good church is the church, etc. You know, no. The good church is the church who teach him to love everybody, to follow Jesus. For he said, from their fruit you shall know them. It doesn't matter what the church, as long it's a church teach that the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit is one God. That the salvation is only in the hand of Jesus. That the judge over the flesh of all mankind is Jesus. That for everything created by him and for him, that he is coming back, and he was in the cross, and he was resurrected, and he is our Savior. I don't care then what the name of the church is. So anyone will say anything about any name of any sect or demonation, I will block you immediately. Even if you are an admin, a warning. Christian Prince, he don't believe in any demonation. You don't need to agree with me, you don't agree, this is your business, just leave. You don't come to my house and tell me what to say, what not to say. I follow Christ. I follow no bishop, I follow no pope, I follow no priest, I follow no man, I follow Christ the Lord, Yeshua. The one who follow a man, go and follow your man. He will end in hell with him. We follow Christ. Division is from the devil. And anyone who will come with his division, we will send you free shipping and handling to Allah. Allah himself and the Quran, he says, Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. Chapter 5, verse number 14. Therefore, my duty is to fight the hatred of Allah. And the hatred of Allah is going to be spread between the Christians. So if a Christian person, he cannot love his brother in Christ, how you can, how you claim that Jesus slays love your enemy? But you cannot even love your brother in Christ. What kind of a Christian you are? You see, when we speak against Islam, we don't teach that we hate Muslims. We will never hate Muslims. Because if we do, we are not following Jesus. And the reason because we don't, because we don't hate, hate them, we are exposing the false prophet so we can save them. What we do is not because we hate Muslims, but because we love Muslims. And love is not about giving kisses. No, we are men. I'm talking about myself. This is not love. Kisses and hugs is not what Jesus did. Jesus, he flipped the table on those who they are buying and selling in the front of the temple. They are not even inside the temple. For they made the temple of God a place of business. The Messiah was not nice to the hypocrite. He called them son of serpent. Hypocrite, liars, evil generation. This is what Jesus said. So why Jesus was not nice? Why he was in the language you say or you claim rude? Because this is how the truth will come. The truth is not a truth unless you say it as it is. If you are a person who sugarcoat things, you are no Christian. And you do not know Jesus. Right? Ah, hmm. look here, we have an answer from Abdullah Asad al Din. This is the lion of religion. The lion of religion, he gave us an answer about why the Prophet, he married a child. 
Let us see why the prophet he married a child. Let us put what you said to us, my friend, in the screen so everybody can enjoy your wisdom and your knowledge. So Mr. Asaduddin, he said, during the Christian prince, during the period of uh, uh, everyone, uh, that period, everyone married child. Muhammad was not a man surrounded by those ignorant people who was forced to marry Aisha at the age of six because of the society around him. Uh, what was the age of Aisha, mother? Can you name for me one person around Muhammad? He married a child? Just give me a name. Uh, here we go, I'm, I'm waiting for you. Go and search in Google, Prophet Google, peace upon him, and find me the names of those who they are around Muhammad, marrying children in the age of Aisha. Go ahead. Actually, when Muhammad, he came to Aisha to marry her, to ask for her hand, Abu Bakr, he said to him, but you are my brother which means he was trying to get rid of him. Muhammad, he said to him, you are my brother in religion and she is mine. Let me show you the reference. And actually, the hadith here, so thank you for, you know, remind me to speak about this because that will expose everything the Muhammadan they say that Aisha, she was not a kid. Read with me this. And I will show it to you from Sahih al-Bukhari. What is the chapter name for this hadith? Maybe in the English section here it doesn't say. Let us see. But in Arabic it says, to if a child. So this is the hadith here in English, but it doesn't say in the top the name of the chapter. I guess you see here they 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 lie uh, in the translation it says young lady when the fact it says tazwij al sigar al sigar is the children's sagir is the little little one not young lady lady actually she was six years old. If you go here, this is Sahih Bukhari in Arabic. Babu tazwiju sigari min al kibar. Marriage of the young one, the little one, to the old one. Value number five. Hadith number, or page number, sorry. Uh, 1954. Hadith number 4793. Google translation, peace be upon him. Let us do it. Here we go. See? Even Google got you busted. Liars. Marriage of young children to adult. This is the name of the chapter. And this is the volume, and this is the page number, and this is the hadith number. In the Muslim website, they changed. They said they are marrying a young lady when it is a young child. And let me post the link in for the Arabic hadith as it is from your Islamic website. So as you see, Abu Bakr, he don't want to marry his daughter to Muhammad because she is so young. And he tried to make an excuse. He said, well, you are my brother. He said, no, no, no. I am your brother in religion only. And she is mine. He forced him to give her. 
So a nice try, my friend. Anyone else? Now the video became longer than I wanted to make it, but you know, as usual, I like to cover all sides of the story. So if you download the video, and please download it. So later, if you want to make a, a study, you know, you want to have reference, you want to have refutation, you get all the ideas you need, even though I did not really, I can keep going about this and keep showing you reference for the coming year if I want. But, you know, for me, the purpose is done. And uh, I think we have more than enough reference to prove that Muhammad is a very filthy man. He cannot be a prophet of God. And when the Muslim, they try to fix it, they say, because Allah told him. And not only that, they claim that Allah, he showed him even her pictures in his dream. Can you believe such a pervert ac accuse, uh, uh, sorry, excuse? Allah, he showed her, he showed Muhammad her pictures. In the dream are you sure in the dream I thought pictures is wrong look even Allah he takes selfie <laughs> right let me see where, where this guy is saying that Allah, uh, oh, here we go. Allah, he ordered him to marry her. Listen to this. It's not Muhammad, he is a pervert. Allah, he ordered him. Allah ordered him to marry Zainab. Allah ordered him to marry Khadija. Allah ordered him. The guy is, he don't want, he hate it, he hate it. Why did the Prophet propose, alayhi Because Allah ordered him to marry her in a revelation. See? And he saw her picture twice See? brought to him by Jibreel. He saw her picture twice brought to him by Jibreel. As if we are talking about the dating of somebody he lived overseas. Why he wanna give her her picture if the girl she lived next door? Allah, he sent Jibreel with a picture of Aisha and her profile too? Hmm? Like what, Jibreel, he have a cell phone? He say, Muhammad, this is your wife? Any women, Muhammad, he if, he claimed that Allah told him. And now Allah, he sends Jibreel. Look how important this man. I mean, this is the creator of the universe. He gets what to his office. Is Abril, come here. Yes, sir. I want you to go immediately. And I want you to print the picture of Aisha. And use, no, don't use this printer. This printer is made in America. We be called America. Use the printer made in China. It's the laser one. Alhamdulillah. Yes, print the image of uh, Aisha and send the picture with you and show it to Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad, he was asleep in his house. Who is this? Jibreel. Oh, Jibreel, what are you doing here, man? It is hummus time. I was going to eat hummus. Open the door. Hey, Jibreel, hold on. I don't have my pants on. Hold on. You know, I'm naked. Just wait. You know, zzz, zzz. Hmm? Okay, I'm zipping it now. Coming to you. The prophet, he was shocked. He was not expecting Zabriel to come in this time. Zabriel is coming with Sarab I mean, put your shoes, put yourself in the shoes of the Prophet. If you have a shoes. If you don't have shoes, you know, shoes it. And now, the Prophet is receiving a delivery. From Allah. What I can say. <laughs> Jibreel, he entered the house of Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad, because he was so poor, he could not put oil to his door. 
His door actually sounds like a barn door. Jibreel, he entered the house. And he told Muhammad, he closed the door. Muhammad, he closed it, the door opened again. Jibreel, he told him, Muhammad, I told you close the door because this is very private. Muhammad, he now put a chain because somebody is opening the door. I think it was genie. So Zibril, he come to the Prophet and he told him, I have a big sir for you. Jubair. But when Abu Bakr declined, then the Prophet Hassan proposed. Uh, this is a guy who engaged to Aisha before Muhammad. His name is Jubair. Take a note. Why did the Prophet propose, alayhi Because Allah ordered him to marry her in a revelation. And he saw her picture twice brought to him by Jibreel. You know, I am single. And I want to know why in the world Allah is not sending me images of girls who I can marry. I mean, how lucky this guy. Allah, brother. Allah. Alhamdulillah, Allah, the one who created the, let me show you the universe, how small it is. And just to show you how, man, this is so interest, interesting. Okay. Uh, universe. Even the name is weird, universe. What the heck? Uni, sound like unicorn. Univorv, universe. Whew, that's deep. Okay. So, brother, this is, the universe. Okay, take a take a look. Take a look at the universe. So this is the universe, and Allah created the universe. But now Allah He is busy with something something more important. He need to send the big sir for Aisha. And the big sir is very important because the Prophet might go to the door next door and get the wrong girl. Like, he told him, this is Aisha, the daughter of Abu Bakr, and still Muhammad, he need a picture. This is how slow he is. I mean, the guy, he have only one daughter. Her name is Aisha. No, no, no. We need to give him a picture. The prophet is so slow, man. So, the God who created the universe. Huh? Look at this. What is that? By the way, all of this is a Photoshop. Many people think that uh, NASA, when they post those pictures, are real. Those are not real. This is Photoshop. Honestly, even the website, they say to you. But look, brother. The one who created the universe, he sent a picture of Aisha to Muhammad to tell him, you should marry her. And me, the poor me. I receive emails every day. You've been rude to me. You blocked me in a chat. I'm thinking, why Allah don't send me Jibreel with a picture of a beautiful woman? Her name is Khadija and she is so rich. Even if she is 20 years older than me, who care? Life is not fair, man. I don't want him to send me a picture of a kid. I am not interested. Look at this. Muhammad is just a man. This is what the Muslim they say to us. He's a servant of Allah. But Allah is so busy. He gives, tell him, marry this woman. Marry this child. The Prophet, he have a problem with his penis. What Allah he do? He send him a dish of shish kebab. I mean, do you see how the God who created the universe, how much he have time for Muhammad penis? Even he go to his kitchen to make shish kebab to the Prophet and turn to be that the first one who created Viagra is Allah. But it's a shish kebab. And I know many of you now will go and eat shish kebab thinking that that will help him in the bedroom. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> so this is God. God, he sent him a picture. The poor Muhammad, like, he don't like, he don't like Aisha. <laughs> but Allah told him, man, it's not his fault. What's wrong with you?
Muhammad himself is a victim. Actually, I heard that Aisha, she was very evil. And when she was six years old, she told Muhammad to go with her in a private room. And then she told him, I have a watch coming from China. It has a light in it. The prophet could not believe it. He said, no way. She said, I will show you. Let us go to the room. They went inside the room. She closed the door. And then, did, did, did I just say she closed the door? Yeah, she did. And then she told him, now let us close the curtain so I can show you the watch. However, I will not show you the watch unless you show me your willy. Prophet was very naive. He is just 54 years old. He have no idea what she is talking about. He said, what willy? She said, the one down the billy. You want me to show you the watch? Show me the willy down the billy. Prophet, he said, what the heck? What is that? She said, there is a little thing there. huh? It's not working, but it's okay. Uh, just let me see. She closed the windows. She closed the curtain. She closed the door, as you see. And she slammed the door, man. I mean, she was really... She locked it up because she was afraid. She told him, I am afraid that your willing is going to fly. So let us close the windows. And then she, when she saw the willy, she jumped on the billy and Muhammad became a victim of rape. So the truth, three brother, Aisha, she was the one who raped Prophet Muhammad. It was not the Prophet who was raping Aisha. And those kuffar, they lie to you. Prophet Muhammad was a very victim of the same act. And they switched the fact upside down because they are kuffar. Christians, what do you expect, huh? They are Christians. They lie all the time. They see Jesus as God. They lie all the time, brother. What do you expect? Huh? And, and then, uh, I don't know what to expect, really. I mean, uh, if I ask the bent, if I ask Shabir Ali, Shabir Ali will come with a different answer, starting with... She couldn't fulfill any of those categories. She, in fact, if anything, she would just be another burden. It's like the Prophet has young children at home. Now he's just brought another child and put a child at home. Who, who, who's going to take care of the children whilst he's trying to earn a living and trying to... Jibreel, what's wrong with you? Isn't it the story says that after the death of Prophet Muhammad, Jibreel used to come and wash dishes to Fatima? Guys, have you ever heard of an angel wash dishes? Jibreel, he come to the house of Fatima, he washed dishes, he hold the broom, he clean the floor, like what the heck? Why Jibreel don't do that to my house? I mean, let me show you my kitchen. Um, I, I Usually I always clean my dishes, but today I was like, you know, I was really busy, so I did not clean the dishes. Where is Jibreel? I mean, this prophet is really spoiled, man. Jibreel, he come to the house of Fatima, the daughter of Muhammad, from his wife. And he cleaned the floor and cleaned the dishes and he sang songs for her. Where did she get that from Amazon? What a good deal. Do all of these things. This hadith really, you know, brought the, the, the message home for me that, wait a minute, this doesn't, um, whereas it makes sense. What do you mean? What do you mean? Shame on you. What does it make sense? I mean, are you a Muslim or what? So this is what happened when a Muslim, he struggled. He opened his books. He find all the people. And now he tried to get rid of it. And they go and they order all the cleaning supplies. And now this video is a cleaning supply video, trying to fix the poo, -poo of Muhammad. Unbelievable. Having a partner, somebody who could actually help you in these categories of life. I mean, yeah. uh, there's a reasonable observation, Sheikh, that uh, when, when the Prophet Sallallahu was getting married, uh, it, it, it does not make sense that he would be marrying uh, a girl who 
uh, would have been younger than his, his daughters at the time. And of course, his daughters were young enough to need uh, a motherly care. Um, and uh, Sauda would have uh, fulfilled that by virtue of her age uh, to marry Aisha, uh, who would have been so young as described in the hadith, um, would not seem to serve uh, any reasonable purpose at that time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I will leave you with that. And please leave your comment, Abdul. And uh, you are welcome. But as you see, your prophet, everything is wrong about this man. His penis is not working. Allah, he invoked Allah, he sent him a dish of shirk kebab. And then he made his wife father drunk in order to marry her, the first wife, Khadija. What kind of ethic he have? I mean, name for me one thing about this man is not wrong. And then, Waraq ibn Nufal, he died, and the Prophet decided to commit suicide. And then, the Prophet, who is very decent, he see a woman walking down the street, and he go horny to his wife. Obviously, he was looking very in a very bad way. Because all of us, we see women down the street. But we don't get excited sexually, just because we saw a woman down the down street. Unless you are thinking about it, you don't get excited. That hadith is very weak. We can challenge Allah. What hadith is weak? I saw you Sahih Bukhari, potato. Yes, this hadith is, is very weak. Al Bukhari, it's very weak. Al Bukhari, it's very weak. Al Bukhari, very weak. Okay. The, the, the mother of Aisha, she used to feed her a cucumber to make her fat before she delivered to Muhammad because she was little. It's weak. But it's not weak. It's, it's weak. It's not weak. It's weak. Here it says it's sahih. It's weak. It's 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 sahih. It's weak. Weak. But weak. 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 Now I know why they call it weak abidia. <laughs> because it's full of Islamic weak hadith. Weak, huh? This is why Sheikh Hamda he said. Those who come with the argument of weak hadith, they have a weak argument. Do you know that? Those who come with the argument of weak hadith, they have a weak argument. Hmm? Weak hadith. Is what? Is a weak argument. Weak hadith is is anywhere from a D minus to a D minus. All right, a Hassan hadith is is a B to an A minus, and then a Sahih hadith. I'm just using so a language you can understand. An A minus is like a a, 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 a a sahih hadith is from an A to an A plus to 100%. Mutawatir is 100%. Al-Bukhari is like 98%, 99%. Muslim and Bukhari, 99%. Uh, sahih Muslim, 97%. So the, the, uh, a weak hadith is not thrown out. <laughs> Just like a professor doesn't throw out a paper that, that gets a D minus. It didn't flunk. It passed. It passed. Hey, Abdul, it passed. And not only that, none of the hadith we showed you, it was weak. All of them, they are sahih. So, but even the weak one, this is the game. You see that was Muhammadan? In order to wash, to wash their hand from the poopoo of their prophet, anything we say to them, they say weak hadith. But as you see, weak hadith, it passed. It did not flunk. And so when the ulama say it's a weak hadith, it passed. In other words, it's something that cannot be proven to not have been said by the Prophet. The, the probability that he said it is, is... Did you hear? It passed in other way. This is a something cannot be proven that it's not said by the Prophet. Not it's not said by the Prophet. It cannot be proven that it is not from the Prophet. So you see how they lie to us using the argument of weak hadith? Always you can search for this video. It's called the Hadith Weak Ta'if uh, 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 Sheikh Hamda Yusuf. 
you can search for it always you can download it so of a muslim he can come to you with this post for him this and let him laugh at himself not only it pass it's a weak argument it's far greater than the probability that he didn't say it so it's called a hadith da'if because it, it's it there the margin of error is greater than in a hasan or a sahih so how did the ulama deal with that the ulama dealt with so you see here you know i really feel sorry for the muhammad you know they are trying to clean or cleanse the stupidity of their prophet and because of that uh, they try you know they start jumping denying all over whatever you know whatever is embarrassment whatever whatever is an embarrassment the muhammadan they try to get rid of it uh, is a weak argument and that is that or the hadith that تعرض علي أعمالكم or أعمال أمتي in Al-Bazar which is a Sahih hadith so the ulama don't reject weak hadith they don't and the, so this argument against the weak hadith is, is, uh, is a weak argument did you hear it Muslims? the argument of weak hadith is a weak argument this is from the mouth of your sheikh So stop playing this game with the Christians. You've been exposed. And the smell is all over the place. Right? Uh, Mahdi is saying that Aisha, she said, I never saw or touched the private part of Muhammad. Look what he what look what this guy is saying. Mahdi Kothar is saying there is the Aif hadith which says Aisha she said I never seen touch or seen the private part of the messenger of Allah. Obviously you won't accept this so stick to the Hassan or Sahih, my friend. Uh, I think your prophet, he used to like doggy styles. So she will never see him because he's always from behind. Excuse me. Isn't it the Quran says, And this was to respond to the Jews. Who they say you should not, it's not allowed, it's forbidden to have sex from behind. And then the prophet, he respond to them saying, your women are your teeth, like a ground, so dig in your teeth as you wish. Is that your Quran? And this is about the doggy style? Are you there? Your God is a doggy style God. And the proven in front of you. And he goes so low to the point he speak about women as if they are a ground and you dig in the ground as you wish. And you can go and read the interpretation for the verse if you like. So my friend, you are talking to Christian Prince. I got all your laundry. All your laundry is here in my head. I do not need a library. And the, by the way, the Muslim, they say, Christian Prince, he is a, he is a Google guy. In, in order to find something in Google, I have to know it first. What Google? I'm using the computer. For sure, I would use Google computer. This is the fastest way. Imagine if I go now to go and find the reference and flip the pages and go to the shelves. And I need a library of a million books. Most of those books, I don't have them in my home. But thanks to the internet. So we use them, why not? But the knowledge is in my head. And this is your doggy style God. This is a verse was respond to the Jews who they reject having sex from behind. 
As simple as that. If you don't believe me, I can go right now and show you the interpretation. However, the Muslim Shia, they have different opinion. The Muslim Shia, and this is why I actually is mentioning that actually, uh, uh, they believe that if a man, he look at the anus or the, the vagina of his wife during the sex, his son is going to be mute and deaf and even he might be homosexual. If you want, I can show you the reference. Because from your name, I can guess that you are a Shia. Mahdi. This is a very popular name between the Shia. Is that true? Or I'm making things up? The Shia, you know, uh, uh, the Sunni, they laugh at the Shia. They say that the Shia, they have a huge library of penises and vagina. But in fact, the Shia and the Sunni both, they have the same thing. Let us see what the Shia, they say. The Shia, even they believe that if you wear a black shoes, your penis will not work. That's why if you go and check all my shoes, I don't have a black penis. Uh, uh, sorry, black penis. <laughs> black shoes. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I mean, this faith religion. I mean, what, look at this. Look what we talk about. The second we talk about Muhammad. Penis, vagina, blah, blah, blah. When we speak about the Messiah, we speak about holiness. The second we name Muhammad, Penis is there. So if you wear a yellow shoes, your penis will be so good, according to the Shia. Let us see. As long as you are a Shia, so let us go there. Actually, there's even many videos, you know. Um, we can play for you from YouTube. You would dial off in if you speak Arabic. Let us see. Here we go. I'm just trying to find the reference in a Shia website so you don't say to me this is Sunni. Actually, I found a Shia website, but the, their text is so huge. I don't know what's wrong with those people. Um, yeah, let, let us see this one. This is a Shia website. Library. Man, this website is messed up. Look, I mean, look at the text, how it's coming. Weird. Why well, can translate this? I mean, I mean, use Google Translation. This website is messed up. Let us see a different website. We are having difficulty. Where it is? Where it is? Let's see this one. This is Ya Zahra. Uh, Hmm. And now we could not find an official website. <clears throat> okay, let us choose this one. I don't know because this is the reference here. The book is called Men La Yahduru Hul Faqih. Value number three, page number 
556. The title is To look at the anus or the vagina of a woman will cause you or your children to be blind. Translation. Looking at the women vagina lead into blindness. <laughs> it's hate to look at the women private part, and he said it begets blindness, and hates uh, 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 hate to do it like talking. You should not talk to during sex. Like if you're having sex, you shut up. So you don't look at your wife anus or her private part, and the wife should do the same. Haram. We F only, okay? This is the religion of Fing. You don't look. You F only. Are you there, uh, Haidar? So I'm assuming that you yourself, you never look too. You never know she might be a male. Did you check it out? <laughs> what a stupid cult. I mean, this is seriously, is that a religion? Is this is a religion? And you are telling me that, you know, this is the Eve. Uh, the... Anyway. True story, true story, brother. True story. You are a Sunni? Okay. So, okay, let me ask you, as long as you are a Sunni, do you like to call me Mr. Uh, my friend uh, Mahdi? Do you like to call me in Skype? If you like to call me, just say yes, I will open Skype for you. So guys, he's a Sunni. Okay, but let me ask you, isn't it, a, do, your, do your prophet wife have a shame? So you are saying, let us stick with Hassan and Sahih, right? So that if you don't want it, let us go and see. Here we go. And now you will tell me, is this is a woman or she is a whore? Imagine your wife. I'm not trying to insult you, my friend. I'm just having a conversation with you. Your wife, she go in YouTube and she make a video saying that when she pray next to you, she noticed that the other wife, her vagina is dripping yellowish blood. And she put a dish under her vagina. And this is Al-Bukhari. What kind of woman she is saying those things? I mean, what is the business of anyone? The wife of Muhammad, now everybody knows that her vagina is a dripping yellowish or she have a sexual infection? Because it doesn't make sense why she have, I mean, I'm a doctor. Actually, I never noticed that this is wrong unless, I mean, until, until somebody's a doctor, he says, this is me, she have infection. So the wives of the Prophet praying next to the Prophet and there is a liquid coming from their vagina. And that is a yellowish blood. What they do? They put a dish there. Is that the Sahih Hadith you like me to read? Can we have it in video? The Prophet wife is teaching us how the prophet he used to fondle her. He put his penis between her leg, his penis between her legs. What kind of a pro? What, what kind of a prophet? What kind of a female? What kind of a wife she is? Imagine my wife. She go live on air if I get married, God forbid, and then she say, "My husband see me yesterday. He fondled me. He fondled me. He fondled me. He fondled me." He ordered me to put the shit between my legs. And I used to have my period. And he put his private part there. He fondled me, he fondled me, even. What the heck? This is a private wife? And now everybody in the world, he knew what happened to the vagina of Aisha. The prophet used to suck my tongue when he is fasting. But what the heck? So he was fasting or he was not? 
It's okay to suck the tongue of your wife when you are fasting because you are hungry. You like to eat tongues, don't you? French kiss? Hmm. <laughs> Scandals. And what they do now? They try to wash their hands from the garbage. This is the truth. Hmm? Hmm. Let us find this hadith. Oh, this is the hadith. Hey, hey, you see, it says the hadith here. But this is Sahih in Sunnah Ibn Dawood. That's why it's called Sunnah Ibn Dawood. The Prophet S.A.W. used to kiss her and suck her tongue when he was fasting. Should we take it or not? Huh? And if it's not true, why you Muslims are putting it there? But this hadith in Sahih Ahmad, Musnad Ahmad, is Sahih. The same one. Just the same exact hadith. This is Fathul Bari fi Sharhi Sahih al Bukhari. The chapter of fasting and kisses during fasting. Ibn Hajar al Asqalani. Hadith number 1827. Page number 179. Value number 4. The Prophet he used to suck his wife, he used to kiss his wives and he used to. Uh, what? And she smiled. And here it says, let us see the hadith. The prophet came to me and I was fasting and he was fasting and he could not kiss me. And look where it says that the prophet wife, she was young. And as long as when we know that when you are young, you will be very horny. <laughs> oh boy. And here they are saying to you, if you are kissing, it's it's okay. This is not will uh, will not delete your fasting, brother. You know? Yeah. And look here, it says Nawawi, kissing during fasting, it's not haram. Unless it's going to move the desire. So the prophet sucking the tongue and kissing, and he is not moved by desire. <laughs> now I understand why he needs a dish of shish kebab in order to make his penis work. <laughs> because even after kissing and sucking the tongue of his wife, still his desire is not, he don't have a desire. There's no sexual desire there. So the prophet is sucking her tongue for what reason? This is not sexual desire. He's thirsty. What's wrong with you? This is not sexual desire. Don't you, you know? You? No? You know, you know what? I mean, what is the, why, why a man, he kiss his wife? Uh, uh, I mean, obviously, th this is not sexual desire. But he is putting his tongue inside her mouth. He's not just kissing like his, her cheek or maybe her head. He is... <laughs> You know, is, is, this is not sexual desire. But not. I'm learning, my friend. I'm getting, I'm getting mature now, learning from the Muhammadan. Uh, anyway, are we done for today? I think we had enough. And I had enough too. I better stop talking about this. Can you speak about the breastfeeding of Aisha? Well, Aisha, you know, see, because she don't have a breast, she don't have a breastfeeding yet. 
But Aisha, she ordered her sisters uh, to do breastfeeding for anyone when I enter upon her. And as long as this guy, he says, I am a Sunni, Well, this is the Sunni. I mean, this is religion. It's all is is very sexual, you know. A prophet he ordered his, a woman to give her breast to a stranger so he can suckle it, and then Aisha she used to do that. You see it? Yeah, he are related. To me, from Malik, from etc., from 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 from, that Aisha she ordered her sister. Mm, okay. All right. Uh, yeah. See. I wish I was living in the time of the Prophet. Any office, any government office you go to, run by a woman, you have to suckle all the secretary breast. I will never go hungry. I mean, I will make any excuse just to go to the government office so I can suckle and then go home. I will, the second I might turn, come to speak to the official Aisha, I will say, thank you, Aisha, I'm done for today. I wanna go home. So what the problem? Don't you say you have, uh, you came to meet me? Uh, no, sorry, I did not came to meet you. I came to suckle. <laughs> this is religion and this is God. This is God, huh? God, he ordered Muslim women to give their breast and to suck out a stranger. You go in the bus, there's a there's a, a, a TV host in Egypt. She asked the sheikh, are you saying to me, all those people who work with me in the TV station, the DJ, the, the light engineer, the audio engineer, the director, the director assistants, the music, etc. all of those, I have to suck on them? He said, yes. Yes, you have to suck on them. This is what the prophet said. And I can show you the video. YouTube. Yes, brother, yes. The yes. The word sakal is not found in Arabic. Ah, that's new for me. Guys, the, in Arabic, there's no sakal. In al rida, I mean al maja. Abdul, don't just don't be stupid. I mean, come on, if you want me to respect you, don't be stupid with me. Rada'a from Radda, which means you hustle and you suck something. So you put the nipple, you Radda, like Radda Isba'ahu, like if somebody closed the door over his finger, that is a Rad. What is Rad? Is some, is, is a piece of meat going between two hard things. And that can cause injury, can make even your blood the blue blood appear under your skin. This is what rod. So rada is to put the nipple of the women between the teeth of a baby. He hold with his teeth, not even with his lips, and he starts sucking. So when you say to me, it's not in the dictionary. Which dictionary you want me to show you? Oh, dictionary says the opposite. You're a liar, son of muta. Shame on you. And even even your 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 uh, translation says breastfeeding for adult. And why you Muslims say sakarin if it's not sakarin? And I am an Arab potato. So don't tell me this does not exist in the Arabic dictionary. People will die laughing at you. Sheen. And if we show it to you from the Quran, what you will say too, you know? We can show it to you from the Quran. And this was a verse in the Quran, by the way. Hmm? This is the Quran in the chapter of Al-Baqarah. Using the same word. Chapter 2, verse number 2, 3, 3. Do you see it? And this is the other verse. Chapter 4, verse number 23. 
And if you don't, if you don't like the translation, we can change it for you. As you wish. And this is the word in Arabic. Those games you can play with someone else. You cannot play those games with me. Hey, my friend, there is no certain hadith says you put milk in. First of all, just to show you how stupid what you are saying. What al waqidi First, first of all, al waqidi is not a companion. So how that can be hadith from al waqidi You are such a fat idiot. Secondly, if it's drinking, if it's drinking from a cup. That is drinking, not suckling. In the same time, Sahila bin to Suhail, she was an old woman, so she don't have milk. So what he will drink? This is why the woman she adopt, she adopt a man because she don't have kids. She cannot have kids. If you think that women they are a goat, even goat they have to have babies to have milk. So he's drinking what? Sahla bin to Suhail is an old woman, and he is the one he ordered her to suckle the man who live in her house. She said to him, "How I'm going to suckle him if he is a growing man? If it is drinking in a cup, she will not be surprised. She will say, "Okay, I will give him a cup of milk." She said, "How I'm going to suckle him, and he is a growing man? Don't a growing man drink in a cup? Ever you drink in a cup?" So Muslims, they have a very silly, stupid argument. She didn't say how I'm going to make him a drink. She said how I'm going to suckle him. Otherwise, there's no problem. How I'm going to suckle him and he is a growing man. And you see, even your Muslim translation says breastfeeding him. It's a breastfeeding. It have to be from the breast, not a drinking cup. And let me ask you again, I will go with you. What kind of a stupid prophet he says that you give your milk to a man and that will make him forbidden for you? How stupid this religion is. Isn't it Islam forbidden you adoption? In the same time now, she, what, she became his mother? And then we will find that this is not a true. Muslim man is still, he can have sex with this woman and I can show you the fatwa. If I go right now and search in Google. Do breastfeeding for adult. Make the women unlawful. You will see that no. So what's the point? Read it. You Muslims are very silly, trying to save yourself from the embarrassment. This is the title. She doesn't make it, doesn't make it forbidden for you to have sex with her. That one number 3901. Translation. See it? Breastfeeding for adult does not forbid you from having sex with her or marrying her. And this is here the answer. The man is asking if an old man, if a grown man, he did breastfeeding from a woman, did she become a mother for him from breastfeeding? The answer no. He can still you know, have sex with her. So what's the point of this stupid religion? Obviously, Muhammad is making fun of you Muslims. So, there's no point. Stupid religion. Let me give you the reference. Here we go. I will post the link for you. I will shorten the link. Because it has an Arabic in the search. So I cannot post it in Google. Actually, let me try. I don't know if it's going to work. Before I post it, it doesn't work. I think. Th does it work, guys? Let me know if you can open the link.
because maybe maybe YouTube have an adjustment now. Does it work when you click at the link? The one I posted. It work? Okay, then I do not need to shorten it. Okay, and now you can use Google Translation to translate yourself from your side. And you will see there's no point of this. Muhammad is a, is a, is a filthy man. He's making fun of the Muslims. And you will see she, he, he laughed until his teeth came out. She said to him, well, I, how I'm going to suckle him and he's an old, a growing man. Because suckling happened only to children. And why is laughing? And as you see, all those hadith are accurate, and all of them they are talking about suckling. And the one she is suckling, he have a beard. My friend, this is false because uh, you see when you say al alabani etc., th this this is sahih. You say to me, there's no proof that this from the nipple. It says suckle, suckle. Okay, can you show me a hadith saying that she gave a cup full of milk to the guy? Go ahead. You said to me al waqidi. Where there's no such a hadith. This is opinion. Somebody like your opinion now, trying to fix it. But all of them, they say, Ardu'i. And the word Rida is in the Quran. And this is in the Arabic dictionary. And your prophet is even laughing at what he just said. And this is how funny this religion is. Suddenly, Sakharin is giving a cup of milk to the guy. Yeah. What about giving a cup for them from the cow? Are you are you Hindus, Muslims? Why, why if somebody, he drank milk from somebody, he became her son? What is that? Hindus? So now if we drink milk from a cow, she became our mother? Suckle me, baby. Even, you know what? Even Joe Biden will not do what Muhammad say and do. I mean, this guy, he exceeds everything his stupid can, can imagine. A Zuhri nephew told in the authority, okay, show me the hadith. Give me the hadith number. Give me the hate number, I'll witness screen. So we can laugh together. And remember, you are the one who said, we don't accept Da'if, right? You are the one who said, Christian Prince, let us focus in Hassan and Sahih. Just to show you the hypocrisy of this religion. Give me, give me the reference, please. I'm waiting. Give me the number of the hadith and the name of the book. Hey, everybody will start laughing in a second. <clears throat> Especially we have all your posts about not to accept da'if and not to accept anything is not accepted by your majesty. I want to see this hadith. I'm waiting, Mr. Mahdi. I mean, if you have the hadith, you don't have the number for it? Give me the name of the book, the number of the hadith, so I can put it in the screen, please.
if you have the hadith and you don't have the number, it's a clear evident that you are copying from an article made by Abdul. If you have the number and you have the page number, you have the name of the book, then we will put it in the screen so we can share your opinion. Maybe you are right. I'm waiting. Why is it taking you so long? Let me tell you why. You are just copying an idiot article. You don't have reference. Let me help you to find the reference you are talking about because obviously you are not able to find it. So we can love together. <laughs> uh, let us see. Hmm. You mentioned Al-Waqidi, right? Let me show you Al-Waqidi. You are just copying an article. <laughs> this is the book of at tabaqat Al-Kubra. You cannot find reference, I will find it for you. <clears throat> Value number eight, page number 271. It says here, Aisha, she made a fatwa about this, and it's mentioned by Salim that he entered upon Ummu Kalthum, the sister of Aisha, and she suckled him five times so he can enter upon Aisha. And he got from her two suckling, or three. And then she got sick, so he could not able to go and meet Aisha. Now let's continue. Um Salama, she said, that the other wives of the Prophet, they refused to do so. And they said this was only a license for Sahla bin Suhail. And here it says, The wife of Abi Hudayfa, the son of Utbah, she mentioned to the Messenger of Allah the story of uh, the slave she owned, and he entered upon her. So the prophet, he ordered her to suckle him, and he was an old man. And he was even a person who was fighting in Badr. He is a fighter, a soldier. Then she says here, <clears throat> It's mentioned to us from Muhammad ibn Umar, Haddathana Muhammad ibn Abdullah, from, from, from a Zuhri, from his father, that he used to milk in a, in a dish or a container, and, he, and, uh, and uh, uh, he gave it to Salim every day five times. <laughs> oh, sorry, every day to five times, five days. Until he finished. But where we can find that? Aren't you the one who says to me, we don't accept anything? Unless it's authentic, is this is authentic? In front of everybody, I challenge you to show me this authentic hadith. What do you think? Is it authentic? I'm waiting. This guy is not even a hadith here. Who is this guy? A Zuhri from his father. Uh, 
Um, and you know what the funny is? Uh, the Muslims, they try to justify stupid things when the Arabic language is so clear. If, you know, if, if, the, if Muhammad, he don't want her to suckle, and the word suckle is wrong, wrongly used, he can tell her, give him some milk in a cup and let him drink. Drink! Why he's using the word suckling? Obviously, and this is why she was surprised. How oh, I'm going to suckle him and he's a grown man. But the grown man, he drink. And he drink milk too. So she was surprised, not because... Men don't drink milk. Everybody drink milk and any, any drink. But the reason she was surprised because simply the word is used there is suckling. Never use any other word. And then the Muslims, they try to fix it. And as you see, all of them, they are coming with suckling and this is Sahih. And the same Muslim who says to us, he don't accept the hadith unless it is Sahih. He could not confirm to us if the hadith he is talking about is Sahih. In fact, it's not. Can we find this hadith, the one you mentioned to me, in any books of the Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, al-Turmudi? The Muslims Sunni, they have six Sahih books. Can we find this hadith in any of them, Mahdi? You cannot. So you see the hypocrisy? It is you who said to me, let us stick to the, uh, don't take a daif. What if I show you the dictionary where the word translate Arabic word uh, to feed? So what? Because suckling is, a, is a, the purpose of suckling is to feed. Why, why the child is suckling is to feed. Are you stupid or what? But if we go to the dictionary, and let me do that in the front of your eyes. And I will not open any website is not Islamic website. And then you will regret. This is your Muslim dictionary, Al Mu'ajam al Wasid, published in Cairo, uh, year 1960. This is the, the, the publishing print uh, date. And this is Shams al Ulum, Al Rida'a. Al Rida'a, Al Jazr Al Rida'a, Al Wazin Fa'ala. You call, Hiya Ummuhu min Al Rida'a. They say, She is his mother from Sakarin. And then he continues saying, Muddatu Al Rida'a Hawlan. The date of Al Rida'a is two years. This is coming from the Quran. And then he continues saying, until the child he stopped uh, by the age of three. We continue. We're just trying to find where it's speaking about suckling. Here we go. Read carefully. So this is now not only dictionary, this is according to fiqh, according to Islam. Let us use translation. And now you will say to me, I don't accept dictionary no more. This is according to dictionary, what rida'a mean? The, the word translated here is a breastfeeding is rida'a. Breastfeeding and breastfeeding, suck, sucking the infant from the human breast during the sucking period, uh, the suckling period, and Nasafi he said, breastfeeding is what is uh, sprout the flesh and spur the bones out. Translation is not too good, but I think it's enough. And this is in the language. And this is even for the human. 
And you are fooling yourself, lying to yourself. And this is your dictionary. And let me post the link for you now, so you can enjoy your lying time. This is the dictionary. You can use Google Translation in case you don't speak Arabic. Stop lying to yourself. Liars, they have no shame. Desperate. And you know what kind of logic? That if a man, he want to enter a house, the wife, she let us say it is giving her a cup, giving him a cup. What is that? Yeah, it doesn't say that, CP. So this is your dictionary, and all of them, and as you see, this is according to al-fiqh, according to Islam, not according just to dictionary. Do you see it? By receiving the breast milk directly. If you don't receive it directly, is the word is wrong. You don't use the word suckling. You don't use the word rida unless you receive it directly. This is what radda mean. They lie. They love to lie. It is about suckling from the breast, not about drinking in a cup. If you're drinking from the cup, why you use the word suckling? I mean, how you can suckle a cup? Only Muslim they can suckle a cup. Because they have different mouths, look like they have like a... I don't know. How you can suckle a cup? He sent me a message in Skype. Okay, let me open Skype for a second, even though I, I was going to go out and leave. But let us take one call at least. Oh, one call is enough. Okay, my friend, I will open Skype just for you. What's his name? <coughs> the one who want to call me? Let us see Skype. We will take only one call because already getting really late. And people will not be able to listen to all this video. Let us log in in Skype. Skype is taking forever to log in. Ultimate fart? Well, you know, I don't mind actually to take ultimate fart for a snack. But, uh, but this guy here have a very thin, a very thin mouth. You know? Yeah, I don't see anyone texting me in Skype. I don't have any Muslim text. Nobody. So obviously he is not. Okay, let me see now, maybe now. Uh, this is not a Muslim. Where is the Muslim guy? I want to know why somebody, he is a Christian from Indonesia, is texting me, or a Christian from whatever. Why you text me? What for? I don't know why people they do that. Where is the Muslim? I 
I don't see anyone. Oh, somebody trying to uh, call me. Let's see who is this guy. Maybe this is a Muslim. Let us call him. <clears throat> Maybe it's ultimate fort, I think. Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. You are a Muslim? Hi. No, I'm not Muslim, but uh, I have seen fallacy. You have seen what? Fallacies in your argument. Oh, okay. What is that? What is your religion? Yo, I, I believe in the Bible. Okay, no. What, what do you think about Muhammad then? I tend more to believe in Muhammad than the notion that Christ... Okay, I'm asking you, what do you believe in Muhammad? Is he a false prophet or a true prophet? A false prophet. Okay, so what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. A fallacy in your argument. Okay, give me the fallacy. Uh, let me... I, I will move to YouTube. I don't have time, you know, uh, just tell me, what is the fallacy? Come on. Uh, your fallacy is in the argument that you have showed the Aisha. She was pouring, it was pouring of her vagina a yellow liquid. And you have said that yellow liquid was from the sexual, what's the word? Uh, sexual infection. Well, well I, it's not me who said that. Doctors, they say that. I'm not a doctor. But, but, uh -huh. no, the the doctor said that yellow liquid is not, uh, um, uh, the yellow liquid, it was not from the, always from the sexual relations. So it's not always, uh, it sometimes it is. Other things. Okay, get lost. Not always, you just admitted that I'm right. The doctor, they say it is not always. But that means you just admitted that I'm right. Let us go and search right now. I'm not a doctor. But let us see. I mean, you are saying I have a false argument, you donkey. And you just said not always. At least say no. It, it never happened. So, so you can call it a, a false argument. Donkey. Learn how to lie. From the Mohammedan. I'm going to search in Google and see. Uh, Because this is not only it's about uh, water, this is yellowish blood, not water. Anyway, you know, uh, people are really stupid. The topic was, what kind of a woman, she mentioned that in front of people. What is the business of anyone? So if it is a sexual disease or it's not the question is what kind of a woman she go in public and mention such a thing and this is here i am not a doctor and this is a doctor website yellow discharge before the period causes and prevention it says here sexually transmitted infection S-T-I-S, like, etc., like, etc., like, etc. So I'm not a doctor. i never been one, and I'm not interested to be a doctor. But this is what doctors, they say. In Christian plans, you have a yellow fellow, is, you have a, you know, it's, it's, it's stupid. Don't waste my time.
It took me two seconds to find the answer. And we just discovered that you yourself, you have a lowish, yellowish discharge. Yellowish of foolish, fool, foolishness, foolishness. Christian Prince, I am a Christian and I'm going to show you a fallacy. Like, what the heck is that? This is not a true, not always. Not always. Sometime. <laughs> Don't get married, okay? Your wife, she will find you very yellowish too. You know what? I really feel sorry for many women. I mean, imagine you got a husband like this guy. And he was scratching his head and his Anna, you know, his ass for two hours after I said that. And he's trying and he called me to prove me wrong. And the second he started talking, he says, not always. Oh, it's fallacy then, and it's not always. That means it's, it's possible. So you did not prove me wrong, you proved me right. Next time you strip it when you call me, say it is impossible. Don't say it is not always. Because if you say it's not always, that means maybe I was right. At least. But you are a donkey. Learn how to debate, learn how to make argument. Potato. And as you see, I just search in Google. I, I'm not a doctor, I don't know. And all of them, they are saying the same. It's a bacterial or sexual transmitted disease. And actually, I did not even search in the, in the, in the, in the search here. I did not put the word sexual disease. Look what I searched for. I searched yellowish blood administration reason. That's it. I did not even put the word sexual disease. Because sometimes if you insert a word there, that will lead to a certain answer, right? So I did not even search for sexuality. I said, yellowish blood menstruation reason. This is what I put in the text. You can do the same in your search engine. And this is what I got. Sexual transmitted disease. Sexual transmitted disease. Sexual transmitted disease. So what I will do now? This is his fallacy. Don't get married. Your wife, she will jump to the next balcony in the honeymoon hotel room when she discover how and your voice, man, your voice is headache. It's because I'm present down in the fallacy. I said, like, what the heck what I did, man? Man, I better leave before he tell me. And then he agreed with me. Not always. Well, let me tell you, not always men are donkey, but you are the donkey. But not all men are donkeys. Not always. Prove me wrong. Mr. Sankara, you are a doctor? Our friend, let me, I, I am very humble, Mr. Sankara. Let me tell you something. I am a graduated from the highest university in Arabia for doctors. And I was the dean of the Camel Urine College in the city of Medina for more than 10 years. So I understand that you are a doctor and you are agreeing with me, but the brother, thank you. I do not need your agreement because already I have all the knowledge. We are the first university in the world who taught people to drink Camel Urine to recover from anything, anything, anything. Actually, the prophet, he have other, uh, other medicine. Let me show you. If you take this brother, you can fight any disease, brother. But this is between me and you, right? You know, in your clinic, we can share the prophet from this discovery, okay? Prophet Muhammad, he said, If you take this, brother, you can kill any disease except death. Brother, look at this. Prophet of Allah, he said, Nagla seed is the remedy for every disease. But some, which mean the death. Ibn Shihab said, uh, said uh, uh, you know, like 
it can do everything except death, brother. And this is in total agreement, all the Muslims, they agree upon it. So brother, I just share with you knowledge, which nobody have. And now you as a doctor, you will become the most successful doctor in history. Any woman, any man, any child come to your clinic, brother. You give him negligence seed. It doesn't matter what he have. Just go right now and buy 10 kilograms of negligence seed. Don't give medicine, anything. Just give him negligence seed. The patient come to your, to your clinic. You hit him in his foot. And I will tell you why you have to hit him in your foot. Because he have to open his mouth from pain. So you step in his foot hard. He open his mouth like, Wah! and then you throw the necklace seed in his, face, in his mouth. And he will be like a horse. Be careful, brother. Give him the necklace seed before he die. Because after he die, it doesn't work. Every disease. It's a healing for every disease. Except death. Muhammad, is, this, is death is disease? I mean, you eat it when you say healing from every disease. How you say except death? Are you stupid or what? Is death is a disease? Like if you say except cholera, I say okay, cholera is a disease, but death is not a disease. So my friend, you are a doctor, but as you see, uh, I'm so happy that you are here. You are learning from me, and now you will make a lot of money by being here, learning from the wisdom of a prophet Muhammad. Cure for every disease. And those stupid American and stupid British people and Japanese and Chinese, they did not understand that one, one bill given by Prophet Muhammad can fix every disease. Negligence. And now let us see how many of you Muslims will go to internet and start ordering 10 kilograms of negligence. Every morning you eat negligence, negligence, negligence. Cancer will die. I mean, any, any, any disease. You have a private liver problem? Take negligence. You have diabetes? Take negligence. You, you have your wife giving you a headache? Take negligence. Your mother-in-law? Take negligence. You don't have money? Take negligence. You don't have salary? Take negligence. You lost your job? Take negligence. I mean, it is. Uh, it's a magical negligence. If you see a woman, her name is Negla, marry her right away. Because her seed, I mean, your seed will, through her will give you Negla seed too. You can sell them. This temperance, you have fallacy. What the heck? Hmm. Lloyd? Who is Lloyd? I don't know who this guy. Guys, don't mention names. I do not know. Don't mention names. I don't know. Because we don't know what they say. And we don't approve people unless we know what they say. Unless you are forcing us to block you. Uh, anyway, I am hungry right now. I don't have necklace seed. Guys, do you know why I'm very healthy? I will share a secret with you. Some of you might now think that because I'm taking negligence seed, no, you are wrong. No, I use flies. I know, I know that you might be disgusted now, but the prophet, he knew it all. The prophet, he said, if a fly falls into your vessel of one of you, let him dip it in. Okay, why we dip it in? Why? Because there's one wing have diseases and the other wing have the cure for it. So look what happened. Fly, they fly all over the poo poo. Poo poo here, poo poo there, poo 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 everywhere. She come to your vessel. She jumped because she thinks this is a swimming pool. Or she is committing suicide. I don't know why. I mean, I don't understand the language of uh, flies. So she jumps. What the heck? She is now in your vessel. What do you do? You throw the vessel, cost you 10 pesos? You don't do that. Stupid. 
You use the medicine of Allah, Messenger, Prophet. You push your finger in the top of the fly. You have to force her to dip her head in her ass. Not only her head, all of her, all of her. Dip her down like and the fly was like, I cannot breathe, I can't breathe. Don't listen. Don't have mercy on her. Dip her down and then take her out and throw her away. And then brother. The dish will be so delicious and very healthy. Because one wing has medicine and one wing have disease. So now you have the cure and you are pure. Brother, somebody keep asking, poor guy, I saw him many times. I forgot. Okay. The woman, her ass is one mile. One mile, not 33 mile. What are you talking about? One mile. I mean, you people exaggerating. You. I say one mile, you say 33 mile. There's a hadith says that the woman, she will be 30 uh, something miles. The woman, she will be. Not her ass. But you can measure that. I mean, if she is 33, her ass, how many miles will be? Uh, but uh, there's a hadith. It says that the wife, the whore, this is the book of Musnad Ahmad. Variant number six, hadith number one zero nine four five, and this is the reference. I don't know if I can find it to you in in, in English. Let us see. I don't think this website have Ahmad. Yeah. So you can use Google translation. I will post the link for you. And here it says it's going to take her ass here maqaduha al ard. So her ass will fit one mile in the ground. Translate to English. The translation came in here as her seed, this is her ass, as much as a mile in the ground. Let me post the link for you and stop reposting and asking for reference. And by the way, I don't mind. I mean, if my wife in heaven, her ass is one mile, I mean, the bigger is better. I can invite Sheikh Omad to do hiking in the top of the ass of my wife in heaven. Bring your friends, bring my friends. We do hiking. Um, it's going to be very difficult, by the way, because it's very smooth. It's extremely smooth. One mile smooth high. One mile high, and it's so smooth and round. I mean, how in the world we can do hiking? And imagine if you are successful and you hike in the top of that ass, and then this woman, she fought. May Allah have mercy on you. Chemical weapon, I got to breathe, you know. So I don't want to, I don't want to draw the situation for you, because the situation is very embarrassing, you know. But just think about it this way. Why you guys are forcing me to use my skills in drawing? I, you know, I mean, this is this is not, this is a cheap way to drag me in, into doing this, you know. I don't want it to do. I'm the same Prophet Muhammad. He don't want to marry Aisha. Allah told him. So this is one mile ass. And it's so smooth. Even Allah, the Hadith says, Allah, he spent a thousand years to smooth the skin of the whore. Look like Allah, he never heard of Vaseline. One thousand years just to smooth the skin of the whore. How slow. And then I think he is not using electricity. He's doing like manual, you know? So one mile, and now you try to go and you try to climb. So like, if you look at this, if this is one mile, if this is one high, the height is one mile. One mile, okay? And now let us say you are here. Let us say after like all the skills you have, you know, you've been in the Himalaya before. This is not even 200 meter. You are still far. And it's going to get harder. Why? Because it's smooth. So it's not going to be easy, uh, you know, uh, 
to do, but it's going to be good to post it in YouTube and make a video about it. Right? Uh, somebody saying it sounds like a retarded troll. Oh, okay. Well, I think the one who listened to me then, he must be a troll like you. You know, if I'm a retarded troll, that means you are a retarded troll too. Because why you listen to me? You must be troll too. And now we have two trolling. Two more we can play cards. I suppose this guy, you know. Okay. So guys, uh, Prophet Muhammad, he always care for us. He care how big the ass of the women we will have. Of me, myself, I wish they are 72 mile each ass. I'm really upset it's one mile only. I mean, what Allah will lose if he make it like few mile more? At least I can use it to fight with Putin. Well, what I need to do? Get those women bent over and do fart at the direction of the Russian army in Ukraine. Boom. Chemical weapon, not chemical weapon, I don't care. And not only that, after they fart right away, I will, I will throw a cigarette. Because in case you do not know, Farting is a flammable. Boom. You burn everybody. Putin, ah, Christian Prince, you burn my face. Putin, I told you, the fart is coming to you. You coward. I mean, my friend, I'm talking about fart. And you say, hello, CP, how are you doing? I mean, don't you think we have more important now? We're talking about something very sensitive. Don't you see how important this? We're talking about the nuclear weapon now. Fart, big mi one mile ass. And then you go, you say, CP, how are you doing? My friend, may Allah forgive you. What's wrong with people? Focus, focus. Focus, uh, focus, and the hocus. What a religion. Anyway, I think the video became so long. I don't know how you can divide it. But those who want to make the video about Aisha, just cut the part about Aisha, and the rest you do as you wish. I want to say thank you guys, and let me delete this picture, because I know many of you will copy it and say it in, in the internet. And you give it to people, and you say it in, you know, and as like you, it's your art. You know, you put your signature there. I know you. You know, there's many people do those things. But uh, I have a protection. Like what happened when Muhammad and Aisha, they were fighting Allah and his, uh, and Zibril is his protectors. So anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope we have a good time together. Don't forget to download the video because I'm not going to keep it. I will keep it there for a few hours, this video and the video before it. And then after you download it, we will delete them. As you know, I don't keep videos. So please, uh, oh, hold on. Sheikh Asim Al Hakim is live, brother. And look how many people listening to him live. 226 people, brother. 256. That's a big number, brother. Huge number, including his wives, four wives, and his children. 256 people. Zakir Naik, he go live. He have 200, 300 people. What the heck? What happened to everybody? Why you have a very low review? Sheikh Asim? Awesome, brother. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you all for being here. And I will see you soon again. Download the video. And when we get more than 20,000 something, we will be back. Until then, Christ is Lord. Islam is a fraud. We prove it every day. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is 
without contradictions that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 